Tune into Sewing Street this week for amazing early bird deals. We have two each day from Monday the 14th to Friday the 18th of June with new early bird deals and we're bringing back some of your favourite deals too. Watch from 8am to 1pm on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube or our Facebook Live. It's my birthday and we're having a whole weekend of celebrations. I know we've got new guests, we've got brand new projects, we've got uh, giveaways, fabulous birthday giveaways for everybody who shops. Join us on Saturday, June the 19th and Sunday, June the 20th to join in the celebrations. Uh, you can find us on Sky 670, Freeview 72, YouTube and our very own Facebook page. I'll see you there. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Streets have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I shouldn't be laughing, really. Hannah, Hannah took the dog for a walk uh, uh, last night. Not my dog, not her dog, but Reggie that lives next door, you know, the Dachshund. And she went over a bridge, and the end of the bridge was missing, right? And she fell over, right? And we all kind of went, oh, Hannah, Hannah. Anyway, it's not a pretty sight. She's got hand, grazed hands, and her knee, I think she needs a, some sort of graft on the knee. It's the biggest graze you've ever seen. And she's been in there taking the bits of... Um, Gravel out. So I do apologise for having your breakfast. Anyway, she's fine. She's absolutely fine. She's laughing, but she might have to walk past a few times during the show because her knee's sniff sniffing up a bit. And it's her birth. Oh, it's not her birthday yet, but she's having a birthday weekend celebration early with some friends this weekend. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's me again. But you got a day off me tomorrow because Vix is in tomorrow. Yay! Right, look at my first early bird because we've got two early birds a day. Now, we love this. Now, I know the other day I had a rose gold iron, right? And that was a limited edition, uh, limited edition rose and gold. This is rose, rose, not real rose gold, obviously rose gold and black. But 
Um, now, I would say it was limited edition, but I don't think they call it limited edition, but the price is fantastic. The price is amazing. So this is the box it comes in, first of all. Really, really lovely iron. It sits on a cradle. You can make it with a wire or without a wire. It's a bit like the blue one that we do, just a different cradle. This is what special edition this one's called, special edition. Now, shall we show you how much it costs on the Beldre website? before I even tell you how much ours is, right? Now, <clears throat> this is the blue version, <coughs> excuse me, but it's exactly the same, but the blue version, not even the rose gold version, it's not real rose gold, how much is it? 59.99, exactly the same iron, but that one's in blue, so how much will the rose gold one be on? They haven't even got this one on their website now. Maybe we've got it before. They have. They have not got the rose. They've got other rose gold ones on, but they've not got this one on. Right? They've not got the special edition one on there. Right? And then, did you say the Long River have got it as well? Did you say the Long River have got it as well? The Long River have got it as well. Oh, yeah, no, I was going to do a surprise in a minute. I was going to sweep around because you're looking at this, and I was going to sweep it around. So. Okay, there you go, 34, no time, long ago. that's good, that's good. Ours is, I think, well, watch, 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 watch. Here we go. Early bird. 20. Oh, right, now I know that's a mistake. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Right, okay. So I was having a, a conversation with Hayley yesterday and she said she was going to put, it's 39 99 right? And I said, oh, can't we have five pounds off? Can't we do 34 .99? So we agreed before I went home, it would be 34 99 Well, no, no, well, to be honest, right? So I knew that it was going to be 34 pounds, right? So when uh, Hannah showed the Beldre one at 59 99 I thought, yeah. And then she showed the, the Long River one at 34 99 I was like, oh no, that's a 99p saving. Right, okay, I better go on with it because ready? Three, two, one. Isn't it a beauty? Isn't it lovely? So, now the thing about this iron, I've already switched it on so you don't see the blue light there. You get a little, oh, you can't see it there. You get a, a little blue light. See that slender uh, thing in the middle there? That goes blue. That's not a hole, that's your slender light there. It goes blue when you first switch on. When it gets to heat, it twitch, it, the, the light turns itself off. Now, it sits on this lovely kind of cradle, and you take it off, and you think, oh, yeah, I can iron with that. Do your ironing. I'm not going to do the iron because it's actually on, right? Do your ironing, right? If you're thinking, oh, I've got, you know, I need to get into something else, there's a little switch on the back here, like a padlock. You switch that up like that. Swish it round, and then it becomes... Oh, no, it, it, it's been working all morning because I've been practising. And now... There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. I just didn't see it. You take it off like... Come on, John. Right, that's it. No, 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 that's it with the wire. Hey, there you go. It's with the, without the wire. So, obviously, when you do it this way... You need to keep putting it back on. You only need to give it like five seconds. It takes 25 seconds to heat up the iron itself. And then you only need to put it back on for five seconds for it to re-energise re itself. It's fantastic because, look at the steam. I know, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Jane McDonald. Anyway, isn't it brilliant? Fantastic iron. Now, you've also got a squirter on there. Half the stock's gone already. Half the stock has gone already. Uh, it, oh, here you go. Jackie says across the bottom. Uh, I was not going to buy anything today, but an iron isn't a treat. It's a necessity. Jackie, you're so right. You're so right. Um, it has got a squirty one on there. It also has a self-clean button on the side there. It has your cer ceramic plate. Oh, hang on. I'll send it that way up so you can see. There you go. You got your lovely ceramic plate there. Hannah thinks these are go faster stripes. It's also got that little ridge there, so you can do buttonholes and buttonhole stands. Um, it's anti-drip, vertical steam. There's few, oh, fewer than 20 already. Fewer than 20 already. Now, there's something I haven't checked because I can see a little zero in there and I don't know what that's for. Oh, now. 
Now, if you've got it, let me know. It's got a 300 milliliter water tank, 130 G min steam shot, anti-calc, 2600 uh, power, use either corded or cordless, special edition, rose gold, 29.99. Um, now, I, I can tell you now, Haley, well, it, it should be 34.99. Definitely, well, it should be 39.99. Well, no, if you go to Beldre, it's 59.99. But you know what I mean? Now, I don't know what that's for there. Let me see, let me see. You, oh, you feel it like that. You open it. Can you see here? There's a little. Can you see there? Can you see that? Oh, no, hang on. Let me, let me tilt it up. Look, in there. Can you see it? Oh, it's gone now. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. There it is. There's a, a naught there in there. I'm not sure what that's for. Oh, is that temperature? Hang on, let me put that down. No, it's got nothing to do with the temperature. How weird. I don't know what that's for. It's a little trick for you to look up, though, isn't it? Uh, brilliant. Okay, got too many people in the baskets now. Right, now, if you did miss out, <coughs> watch over my birthday weekend. I won't have this one again. This one, I won't get this one again. But watch over my birthday weekend because I've got another iron over my birthday weekend. Right, now, I'll just put that to one side because I've got to be... I've got to... Oh, hang on. It's time for today's second early bird. Oh, no, don't go too quickly. Here we go. Right, here we go. Here's your second early bird. Now, for Sally Ann's first project, you might want one of these. You might want this early bird special. Yesterday, we spoke about this appeal came out, and we kept saying, why are they out of stock? Why are they out of stock? Why aren't we got them in stock? Why aren't they in stock? It's because they're all in here. Save three pounds. This is nine pounds ninety-seven. So you get two packets of Bondaweb, and you get the uh, applique mat. All of that for nine pounds ninety-seven. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Fantastico. Nine pound ninety-seven. So now remember, when you bought this or the iron, that should be in P paid for the day. So if you come in to buy a cushion from Sally Ann, a quilt kit from Sally Ann, uh, we got a. a, a Kits round up hour later on. We've got a sewing machine hour later on. I'll tell you all about that when I do the menu in a minute. But anyway, there you go. There is your... Oh, well, let me do so. While you check out on that, let me just do some messages because there's loads of messages here. Oh, cracky lots. Right, so, uh, Glennie says good morning. Jan says good morning. Leslie says good morning. Sue says good morning. Jenny says good morning. Diana says morning. John and Crew enjoying coffee in the garden. Uh, it's chucking it down with rain. It's been raining all night in my village. Chucking it down. The garden looks better for it. Um, oh, bless her, says Glenys. That must be you, Hannah. Morn is gorgeous. Looking forward to today's show, says Leslie. Claire says, morning, John and all. Excellent shirt. Off my second jab. Mark says, good morning. No spoilers about Great Smith showing me. Oh, now we will be talking about it with Sally Ann. So I'll, I'll do a spoiler alert so you can turn us down for 10 seconds or something. Um, Claire says, poor Hannah. Oh, Hannah, bless her. Send you lots of love. Morning, John. I've not watched Great British Showing Bee. Oh, no, I have watched it. I stayed up last night. I oh, know. I stayed up last night. Um, I won't be mentioning I'll tell Sally Ann when we start, right? Maybe we'll talk about it in Sally Ann's second hour. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, got my iron. John says, Glennis. Dee says, good morning. Georgina says, morning, John. From an overcast drug bee. I bought the last time the iron was on. Uh, I didn't think we had that one before. We haven't had that one. I didn't tip that one before. We may have done with that. I wasn't in. Uh, Georgie, now jo Susan says, there's a little button. On, oh, there's a little bottle under the handle and it changes the number on my blue one. Think it's for the steam and the spray. Thank you, Susan. Um, good morning, says Donna. Judy says, good morning. And Laurie says, good morning. You keep looking at that. I'm just going to have a look at that. This one's got a little switch. Oh, yes, I can see it now. Right, there's a little underneath. Oh, sorry. It's the steam button, John. Love it, Sue. Underneath the handle, there's a button you can press. It goes from 0, 1, 2, 3 for the amount of steam that comes out. That's brilliant. Oh, I might have to have that. Nine pounds. Nine pounds, 97. Oh, look. Healing hugs for Hannah. Love, Sue and Robert. Oh, that's nice. She's all right. She's just talking like this. And then she'll, she'll be sitting prepping. She'll go, oh, like that. Oh, if her knee's in the wrong place or whatever. Anyway, enough of that. Morning, John. 
Light, lightning show last night. Go and get new glasses today. You'll all have a great day. That's from Laurie. Elizabeth says, morning, John. Drizzling with, ra drizzling with warm. No, drizzling but warm, I think it means. Got to walk my dog. Don't sell up till I get back. Georgina says, oh, my one's the blue one. Sorry, I thought it was the same. No, with the blue one we've got here, it's different again to that one. Anyway, they're all, they're all the same make, so they're all brilliant. They're all brilliant. £9.97 for that one. You can use your pleaking mat over and over and over and over and over again. Obviously, these are two strips. They are 120 by 17 centimetres. But you do get two packets and you are saving some money. Three pounds. Three pounds. Right. Okay, right. So, uh, and, uh, right, loads of you coming for this, but there's lots of people still got it sitting in their basket. You're fine, we've got loads, we've got loads, but be careful, because what could happen is suddenly there'll be a flurry, or because it's only quarter past eight, a lot of people aren't awake yet. So there'll suddenly be a flurry in a minute, so there. So, right, now, are you ready, are you ready for this one? Ladies and gentlemen, it is your, oh, hang on, graphics going out. Panel of the week. Well done, Emma. Right. Here we go. What this is, is about now. Next week is different. We normally do this on a Tuesday. And then it's as long as stocks last during the week. We offer it at a lower price than it normally is. Right? At a, a lower price than it normally is. So this one today is £14.99 on Sunday night. Okay, the graphics are moving very slowly today. Anyway, um... It, uh, it will go up to 19.99 on Sunday night, this one. 19 pounds and 99 pence. It's lovely, isn't it? So it's totally not exclusive to Sewing Street. They are two and a half inch wide strips. They're 55 inches in length. Oh! <laughs> I've had a fall. I have had a time, time, but my iPad has. Well, I was just moved because Sally Ann's got to come on here now, you see. So I'm trying to get be swift and so she can get in easily. And I've just dropped my iPad. Anyway, look. Look at the size of this. It's enormous. Look. There you go. There it all is. Beautiful colours. And they're not just solid colours. See, they've got dots and splodges and squares and stripes and scratches and wob wobbles. They're not wobbles. What are they called? Waves. It's £14.99. Totally and utterly exclusive to Sang Street. Make sure you check out your basket, though. I'm just tied up. Oh, uh, what do you want me to do them now? Right, now, you know it's my birthday show at the weekend. You know it's my birthday show at the weekend. Well, we had this special treat for it. It's still a special treat, but... The management decided to um, launch it yesterday, which is fine because loads of you came in to get it. And I was, I was here signing boxes till all hours. But anyway, um, look at this, right? Look at this. I think you need to be a bit closer than that, Emma. There you go. It is the John Scott Orophil Collection. Look, and I signed it where they're all signed. There are so many of them, I can't tell you. We have never bought quite so many boxes of one collection. So what you get in here is you get all these colours. You get your Dove, your Light Sand, your Light Peony, your Light uh, Wedgwood, your Light Fern and your Lemon. So I'll put these two in for your piecing. They're all 50 weight. They're all 50 weight. So they're the two for your piecing. Then I'll put this one in here because I love peonies. That blue, I just fell in love with the colour. Fern is my favourite person on the whole wide world. And lemon, because I love lemons. £47.99. It is, I know, I know, I know. Look, all signed. They are all signed. Special deal for my birthday show. £47.99. I just thought I'd show them now because they look lovely with that panel that I just showed you. Thank you very much indeed. They're lovely, aren't they? There's so many birthday treats coming over the weekend. Hannah's not here to enjoy them. I know we said yesterday that we share all the most important. We're, we're sharing uh, Hannah's birthday together because she's going to be on air. Uh, she thought she was just coming on for one hour. Then they told her she was doing three. 
Yeah, yeah. So Hayley's going to produce while Hannah's out here. But I don't think she'll do all three, will you, Hannah? No, no. No, she can't stand up for three hours. Anyway, we're doing a special day on Hannah's birthday, July the 8th. 8th. She wasn't even working on that day. They came in and said, we're doing a special birthday show. She went, I don't think I'm working that day. Got out, rotary had been changed. She is working that day now. Anyway, 47 99 They're lovely colours, aren't they? Look, now I've got to get on. I've got to get on because I've got, got to show you the menu now. Here's today's menu. Right, Sally Ann Quilts, Apple. Hang on, Sally Ann Quilts, Apple Cushion with Sally Ann. Uh, there's a picture of it. We have got a panel. You can come in now, Sally Ann, if you want to set up. Um, we've got a pa three different coloured panels for you to choose from for that. And of course, the early bird will be fantastic because uh, you need Bonderweb. So that's at 8 o'clock. There it is there. That's the 8 o'clock hour. Then the 9 o'clock hour, we've got some new fabrics and some of my favourite, and Hannah's favourite, older ones. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got the chain and bar quilt with Sally Ann Harrison. She's done one column of it. It's lovely. It's from a brand new book called Stash Busters. And we've got bundles. You need eight and a half metres of fabric to do that. I love that colour. And that's the way the colour changes through the, through the quilt. It's absolutely beautiful. Really, really lovely. And then we've got kits revisited at 11 o'clock. So we've got some delphines. We've got some all sorts of um, goodies in there. Learning new skills is the uh, theme of that hour. And then at 11 o'clock, uh, 12 o'clock, sorry, sewing machines. We've got the 720. We've got the Elna 720. We've got the Elna 780. And we've got the Juki DX7. DX7. Uh, we haven't got that one here, but we've got, Hannah's made a little film for you. Right, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. Uh, you can send it to studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Right, now you can also send me a message on Facebook Live, which are these ones I've been reading out. I'll just do a couple more. <coughs> Good morning, John and team. I need those threads <coughs> to go with my signed picture on the wall. Suzanne. I'm saying nothing. I'm saying nothing. Um, Sue Sue says, Morning John, just bought the early bird, yippee. Not normally home, but waiting for a knee op. So something good has to come out of my car crash. Oh my word. <coughs> I get to see your beautiful self. Love you, John. Oh, Sue Sue, thank you. Ian says, Morning John, another great show ahead. Any ideas for the panel? Oh, sorry, I've moved on already. Uh, what would you make? Let me know. What Ian wants to know, what to make out of panel of the week. You let me know. You let me know what you make out of it. Uh, Shelley says, good morning, John. I feel for Hannah. I've pulled my back. Stuart says, morning, John. Did you have thunderstorms last night? No, we didn't, but we had rain all night. Uh, can't wait to see you both here. What's that? I'm off to Lisa's to go and go. Oh, is that? Wait, you see, hang on. Jenny Jackson sent a message. Oh, there it is. Morning, John. I'm off to Lisa's to go and grab some sample stuff for Saturday. Love your orophils. Um, anyway, that's that. And the third way is via the website. So you go to the website, www.sayingstreet.com. Click on Watch Live. And then you'll see me there. There's a box to the right-hand side there saying send message to studio. Write your message in there. And um, it'll come through in the white box across my bottom. John, I love biscuits. Oh, you, you. That's from Hannah. And you. Your. Oh, hang on. Face. Oh, thank you, Hannah. That's very sweet of you. Anyway, <coughs> scroll down the page. <coughs> scroll down the page. Oh, oh, it's sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out. The early bird, the first early bird, second early bird still available. Right, if you scroll down the page, you see there on the left-hand side, you can see today's show deals. Um, and that's anything that we have played so far. However, if you click on the right-hand side... That's called pre-order, and that is everything. Oh, it's in the wrong order. It's gone in the wrong order. That's nine o'clock, that one. That's your nine o'clock hour there. Okay, so that's your nine o'clock hour. Lots of fabric. Some new, some old, bundles and individuals. Then we move on to... Oh, that's Sally Ann's second hour there. The fantastic... Oh, fantastic dash quilt. Eight projects, two ways of using your yardage. Oops. Then, so that's Sally Ann's second hour there. Then, that's all that. Then, uh, this is Kits Revisited. There's um, Alison Marion's and Delphine's and the Crafty Kit Company. Loads of stuff in there. That's all your kits uh, revisited. Bit of Wendy Orlando there. <coughs> Catherine Wright's skirt there. Then you've got some eyelets. If you want to make some rope holes, 
There's the apron we had the other day. Sewing machines. Oh, then we've got the sewing machine hour. Then 8 o'clock. Here is 8 o'clock. Oh, no, not yet. Not yet, not yet. There you go. There it is, there it is, there it is. So, Sally Ann, now what it is, we've got it in three colourways. So, the picture on all of them is the pink apples. But look, that's using the pink panel. Then the, that one's using the green panel. And then that one's using the blue panel, which I'll introduce you to right now. Okay, right, let's get on. Because uh, Now, don't worry, because you're going to think, oh, you've been talking for too long. Sally Ann won't get enough time. Don't worry, we're going to go over a little bit so that because the next the hour after is me, so I'm not taking away Sally Ann's sewing time. Right, I have got. So look at let's look at the cushion again. Oh, oh your cushion. I've left your cushion to stand there for you, Sally Ann, as well. Uh, so this is the pink version that Sally Ann's already made for us. So the pink bundle is here. So what you get, you get a meter of your beige, and then you get. At $19.99 you get the panel, you get a metre of fabric, plus you get the instructions for $19.99. £19.99. Isn't it lovely? So this one's all the different pink ones. So this, from this one, you can make the one that Sally Ann's um, already made for us there. So you all the they're not cut out for you, you've got to do all the cutting out and things. And then this is for your, uh, around your, um, your board, around your cushion. So you get metre of the beige, there it is, metre of the beige, the pink panel, and the thorough, thorough, thorough instructions. 19.99. Right, now Sally Ann's going to be uh, showing us her demo in the green. So I'll show you that one next. Oh, green one's been very popular on pre-order already. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so there you go, that's the green panel and your instructions and your metre of your beige fabric. It's nice, isn't it? I suppose you're thinking Granny Smith's are you with that one. And then we also have it in blue. Blue, oh, now you see the blue one's nice. Don't know how you're going to choose. There you go, there's the blue panel. Plus your instructions, plus your metre of beige. Now, get the early bird, because you're going to need some bondaweb to bondaweb your apples down. So we'll put the early bird bundle in as well. Um, now, the reason it's called the Liberty Apple Cushion is you'll see in a minute, because the original one was done by Liberty. Oh, now I've got to say, we're not allowed to talk about Great British Stone being this first hour, okay. but we can, we, yeah, zip, 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 zip. We can in the next hour. Right, okay, so... Um, hello, Sally Ann. How are you? I'm good. Good, good, good. Oh, is your mic on? They can't hear you. Oh, oh hang on. We'll just oh, don't lift your skirt up on there. Is it on? Is it on? Are you not getting it, Emma? Okay, Emma's just coming in. So while just that, I'll remind you of the early bird, which is this. We'll just bring in it and then Emma will check on um, Sally Ann's microphone. There you go. 9.97. You'll get your bondweb, your bondweb, and your pressing mat. Uh, Crazy Lane says, uh, yes, John, those cottons definitely match my picture too. What does that mean? Anyway, good morning, John. Love the shirt. White suit. You look really well, says Lynn. Uh, Carol says, good morning, everybody. What's the matter, Hannah? Are we ready? Are we working? I think I'm sorted now. Are we sorted? Can you hear her? Yay. Right. So what we were saying is the original one you made was a Liberty version, yep. wasn't it? Which is why it's called Here it is. the Liberty. So that's how it started. The whole that's thing started. That's how it started. started life. So that's on the front of the pattern. Um, but you've made me these lovely panels. Yeah. So that's where it started. So we're going to now, it's not, it's not difficult, is it? No, it's, I describe it as being beginner. Beginner, okay. Yeah, it is a, or if you're intermediate, it is a really quick make and yeah. obviously a great gift as well. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, also Sally Ann has put on her Facebook, if you want to send any pictures of ones you've made, because you've had this pattern around for a little yes, while. Yes, I you? have, yeah. So I know there's people out there who have made it in all sorts of colourways, so please do send it in, you know, if you've got a picture there now, send it Fantastic. in. Now's your chance. Yeah. That's to, you can only send it in by the email, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Right, okay, so oh, there it is. Okay. So where do we start? Okay, we're going to start with the, what did you call it? The fusible webbing. Yeah, bond web, yeah. yeah. So I've, don't know if you can yeah. zoom in. So this Perfect. is the centre 
in green. Oh, it looks lovely in the green, let's doesn't try and, it? Let's get the white behind it and it'll look even better. Is it? It looks so fresh, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Now, do you have to cut them out of anything in particular or can you just use the fabric as you want it? You, you know, you can I can make the choice of any of those. Oh, I've got the red. Okay, one. so, yeah. Let me get the panel out for you. Ooh, come on, John. Okay, okay. look, there you go. So, so there's, that's your panel. So, the, so the, I'm presuming... So there's four main pieces for the apples. Yeah. And then there's some strips down the side that look like these. Yeah, yeah? you heat these, yeah. yeah. They're a little bit difficult to differentiate on the green, aren't they? But yes. those are the small... There's the, they're that, that, that big, like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they, oh, yeah, they put that one and that one together. So yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are the long strips to make the floating border. Okay, and then the... And then the, those are the pieces for the leaves and the stems. Oh, okay, so those are your borders. Those yeah. four are your borders, and those are your leaves and your stems. Yeah. Perfect. I said it the wrong way around earlier. I said that was your border. So the bigger... So you've got the big squares for your apples. You've got your rectangles for your borders, and then you've got these long, thin ones here for your stems and your leaves. Perfect. Okay, so I've missed, deliberately missed out one apple, which we're going to put together now. Uh -huh. So, is it heat, heat and bond? I always get confused. Bond web, we bond sell bond web. You can buy one called heat and fuse as well, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, don't worry, they can't hear that at home, <laughs> apparently. Okay, so I've drawn it with a pencil so the templates are actually in the back yeah so they're full size templates and you just trace them off onto the paper side of the fusible okay. web yep. okay and I'm just going to cut them out so you don't want to cut them out on the pencil line you want right. to cut them out just outside the pencil line okay I turned your little line on for you by the way yeah I didn't I noticed that. <laughs> right one of the things I do that not a lot of people do is I actually remove some of the centre as well to reduce the bulk. Oh, yes. yes okay, yes, yes. so I'm just going to take... You, this, I noticed this is in the um, in instructions, the instructions as well. Yeah. So you can, if you wanted to, use the whole piece. Green one is very, very popular. Um, but if you don't, because that, that little bit you've cut out in the middle now, you can use for other things like stems and other projects. Oh, yeah, keep all your scraps. I just sort of like bundle yeah. all mine into a bag and then you sort of, it's like a lucky dip. Yeah, then exactly. You can go in there and, well, that one will fit. And the apple's still going to stick. It just means that you're just sticking the bit you're going to sew rather than the whole apple onto the background, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. So then we're going to iron it on to, let's get rid of the bit. What have you lost? Oh, no. right, I'm just going for the iron, so I'm going to iron onto the reverse. Right. So you want the paper side uppermost and the fusible side down. You can feel the fusible side, you can feel the glue on the reverse. Yeah. So you're just going to iron it. Position. And the same with the stem. Onto your little brown piece and the same with the leaf. Okay, so you haven't cut any of them out exactly. You've kind of cut roughly around yeah. the outside of the... Um, Pencil, though. Yep. Okay, then you want to take a nice big pair of scissors. Don't go small, because then you end up going snippy, snippy, and you get jagged edges. So you want yeah. to go big, firm. So I'm just cut, cutting it now on the pencil line. Uh -huh. Oh, Christine says, yes, we can hear that noise upstairs. I know, Christine, I say it jokingly because the management, well, every time we say to the management, oh, so much noise upstairs, they go, nobody at home can hear it. They can't hear it at home, it's fine. <laughs> I thought it was thunder. No, it's a, some sort of, I don't know who, I don't even know who's, who's upstairs. They, they, it's nothing to do with us, it's a completely different company upstairs. So we don't know who they are. But they have like, it sounds like they have bowls evenings and discos <laughs> and aeroplanes taking off and all sorts of things up there. Okay, last piece. So before you start, you need to sort of divide up your panel and decide what you're going to use for each apple, what of you're going course, to use for yeah. each leaf. Um, and also think about um, the fact that the heat and bond. Bond web. Bond web. Let's call it fusible, let's call it fusible, fusible stuff. Fusible stuff will reverse oh, yes, of the course. shapes. Yeah. yeah. So think about which way you want your leaves to uh -huh. go. Okay. That's the one pink one. The pink graphics are in now. Sally Ann's using the green one. 
and the other one is a blue one. I'll go through them again with you in a minute. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've actually put it on the wrong side. Oh, no. <laughs> but we'll go Never with it. Mind. We'll Never work mind. With we'll it. go with it. You'll do yours the other way up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice message from Jennifer on the bottom. Good morning, John. Just want to tell everyone I got a beautiful granddaughter yesterday. Loving your show. Oh, Jennifer. Oh. Okay. So, in the pattern, it shows you how to sort of if you iron it, iron it in half and then half again oh, so that so it helps with the centered, placement. Yeah. 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 And then you're just going to fuse it in place. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're not going to sew around them at the moment. We're okay. going to sew around them later. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm going to put the border in next. Oh, right. Okay. okay. So, I mean, you could do if you wanted to. If you wanted to put satin stitch or a blanket yeah, stitch yeah, yeah, around there, that would be fine. And do you put, well, uh, I'll ask you later. When we get to that, I'll ask you in a minute. Okay. Right. So now you're just cutting out the borders. Yes. That's right, and it? the fact that you've got two together, I didn't bother cutting mine apart. I'm just oh, going to sort of. Oh, just use that as the chair. Oh, yes. well, that's good. Yeah. So I'm just going to. Pull off some strips. So it says in the instructions what size yep. you need to cut, doesn't it? Straight. Oh. Oh. Do you need a new blade? I don't know. Possibly. So do, do you end up using all of that, that up? Yeah, nearly all of it. Okay. Same the other side. I've got another one here. I might you got try what? One. Should I try one of these instead? You can. I don't. I can't guarantee how um, sharp how they'll be. They'll be. Okay. okay. Certainly sounds as though it's gone through. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. There you go. So I'm just going to cut four of these, uh -huh. and that will be plenty. Is that enough to do the yeah. whole round the whole thing? Yeah. Susan says, "I love Sally Ann's cushion. It's lovely to see her." Morning, Susan. That's nice. Okay. Uh, Another Sue says, good morning, Sally Ann. Lovely morning. cushion. Right. Okay, so now you've got your strips the full, length, full yeah. length of the panel. I've abandoned one because it was the wrong size. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to start joining them together now. So I'm just going to join them with a quarter inch seam. Okay. You all right? Yep. Shelley says, I love all of Sally Ann Harrison. No, hang on. I love all Sally Ann Harrison makes. She's a very clever lady. Oh, thank you very Shelley, much. that is. You're up. Frock's lovely. Did you make it? No. Do you not do dressmaking? Yeah, a little bit, but oh. not, not to this sort of, no. It's nice. Colour suit you. Right. So even with three strips, I think we've got enough. Okay. Let's make sure it's just... Cause it says there are four. I'm going to press those. Your lips are moving, but there's no sound coming out. You would just go <laughs> like that. You would just like mild into yourself. <laughs> right. I'm just going to 
press these open just to try and make them flat. Another, that's three Susans in a row now. I love watching Sally Ann's demo. She's all very clear and calm. Thank you. Very relaxing, first thing in the morning. And I, I wonder why you're on, are you on at eight o'clock because you're rushing off to a party or something? No, no, I'm usually on at eight o'clock. Oh, yeah, it's because of my... Guests. Normally, the, the guests, just one guest. Sally Ann's my only guest today. Normally, that one guest is on 9-11, not um, eight and ten. It's fine, it doesn't matter at all. Okay, so right. I usually make a big fuss about cut your borders to fit your piece. Right. This morning I'm going to abandon that and just okay. go for it, okay? All right. But I would usually cut it to fit. Oh, yes. But I'm like, just going to sew it on this morning and cut, it, cut off. it off. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So now we need to say as well that if people buy any pattern, whether it's a Mars or from you, yep. there's an email address on the back page, isn't there? Yep. And they can email you to ask to be included in... The Little Pattern Club on Facebook. The what? The Little Pattern Club on Facebook. Okay, so it's a private, private yep. club. Nobody can. Ju I can't just find it, can I? I no, I don't think you can see it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you have to email me. Tell um, me what you bought. Uh huh. And then I let you in. And what is it? Okay, so we sh we just share everything that we make because yeah. you get to see what everybody's making, any problems that they've come up against, how they overcame come them, and then sort of variations on a theme as well. People have started. Um, remember the remember the um pouch the liberty pleated pouch yeah, the, yeah 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 i've got a couple of bags now in the oh, group you know wow. so people have built on the yeah, you know yeah, built yeah. on the design a lot of that technique a lot of people comment on how yeah. much they love that pleated technique so i mean obviously i'm a bit biased but i think we're a fab little community Oh. People are really nice to each other and supportive. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also they know it's safe if it's a closed community. Yes, exactly. Because a lot of people are put off some of the Facebook pages because they're just open, aren't they? And anyone yeah. can come in and say anything. Uh, Ellen says, morning, John and Sally. Morning. I love the cushion. I like the idea of the rogue apple. There you go. See, some not, someone likes your rogue apple. The Gorgeous rogue. dress that Sally Ann made for Maisie. Oh, yes, I saw that picture. It was yeah. beautiful. Never knew Suzanne was, uh, Susan was such a popular name until I started watching Sewing Street. Um, Stuart says, I have to confess, I'm a sew border on and trim off later rather than cut to size. Can Sally Ann explain if there's a reason to cutting it first? Does it affect it? Why would you normally do cut, put it on and then measure again and cut and cut? Because it, pu it pulls it straighter. So when you put a, something through a sewing machine, you've got two pieces of fabric that go through at different speeds, which means that you don't necessarily make things fit properly. Right. Whereas if you cut everything to fit, then you, you're bang on each time. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes. So you might have, like, I've just sewn this one, I might have slightly more in the bottom then than I've got, got in the top. top. And then that will, building on that, as you go out, you yeah. will build on that On a cushion, error. you're only going the once, aren't you? So it's fine, yeah. Uh, Lynn says, Sally Ann's Little Pattern Club is a lovely little helpful group. Oh, thank That's you. Lynn Chewitt. Thank you, uh, Lynn. Laurie says, lovely to see you, Sally Ann. Lovely demo. Love your lovely fresh... Lo How many lovelies can you fit into <laughs> the message, uh, Laurie? Uh, love her lovely fresh designs. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that dress you made for Maisie was gorgeous. But was the top... What was the top made? Because it, it was like crocheted. A, yeah, so it was a liberty yeah. print, was it? It was like an Emily silhouette yeah, with, something, wasn't it? With a crochet yoke. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So I just made the crochet yoke, and then I attached it. It's almost like a circular oh. liberty print skirt. It's to on. It. It's on uh, the Facebook fan page, and it's also on Vix's page as well. Okay. So that's the top and bottom. So I'm just going to put the sides yeah. on now. And how did you get the sides so perfect? It was. A, it's like a perfect fit, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Have you met? Have you, have you measured the baby? Have you or anything? Oh, yeah, oh, um, I, thought you want, I thought you meant the cushion you were no, talking sorry, about. No, sorry, I'm still on about Maisie's dress. Um, yeah, I, was, I just got lucky because I looked at it and thought, well, it's going to be the right sort of size for the summer. And yeah, yesterday to see so her, gorgeous, it was yeah. just lovely. You know, you got all teary. Yeah, but <laughs> didn't, oh, well, uh, those of you who know Kieran, I now can see Kieran. You know how baby's uh, face has changed. I can now see husband Kieran's features in her face. It'll change again, won't it? But you know what I mean? Yeah, Laurie says, lovely, 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 <laughs> lovely, lovely. Uh, Stuart says, thank you, that makes sense. Thank you, Sally Ann. So I'm not worrying where, you know, the pieces, it's meant to look a little bit random. Yeah, I mean, but that's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, you could cut it again and again, you know, and split it so that it becomes even more smaller pieces. Mm -hmm. Jackie says, morning, John and Sally Ann. Love Sally Ann's little Facebook group, group and I've made quite a few of Sally Ann's makes. That's Jackie on the Wirral. Thank you, Jackie. We love having you. How's your day, Jackie? Her husband's not been too good. The other thing that I've seen people do is they've made the last apple have a bite out of it. Oh, can you do that? Yeah. It's, well, I suppose you can do anything you like, can't you? That was a cool thing to do. What, you mean yeah. like that one on there? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> more like that one. Okay. Oh, hang on, update on Dave. Are we still not good? Oh, Jackie, we're sending lots of love. Oh. Okay, I'm just pressing the seams outwards away yep. from the centre. Set it. So. Catching my. There we go. Okay. Then put on the next border. Okay. So again, we see the sizes are in the pattern. So this one, you've actually cut these ones then, have you? Yes. Yeah. How are we doing for time? You're all right, don't worry. Yeah. yeah. What I might do while you're pinning that, okay. is I just do a recap, because I know the green one's incredibly popular. What would you like to do first, Han? Starting with the green one. Half the stock is, has been checked out and lots in baskets. So we have got the uh, meter of your beige fabric, you get the panel, and you get Sally Ann's very, very thorough instructions. I'll just show them to you, look. So they've got all, everything you need to know in here. She's done the apple on the correct side in the instructions, you'll be pleased to know. And there's your border, and then we're just doing the second border, and the finishing and everything. So you get all three of those, and remember the email address is on there if you want to, um, it's on the back of the back of the pattern. Uh, back of the pattern. Yep. Just send her an email. Say I've bought the cushion, the apple cushion from. Uh, doesn't matter if you buy it from us or you buy it from Dalian Direct. It's just anybody. It's just the same, you know. And you can just join the club, the Facebook club. Uh, and do they get newsletters about upcoming things and things? I'm uh, not newsletters, but uh, updates of what you're up to and things on that one. Yeah, they get little updates, and there's also some stuff that goes in there that doesn't go anywhere else, so it's just for them. There you go. So you get some exclusive yes. Sally and you. So that's the green one. I've also got it in pink next, so that's exactly the same. You get the instructions and a meter of the beige, and you get the pink panel, which is the one the sample is made out of. The four big squares are your apples, these rectangles here are your borders, and then these here are your stems and your leaves. That's the pink one, and that makes... There it is, that one. It's up to you where you put, which order you put your pinks in on your, um, of your apples. And then we also have it in blue. Oops. So you get your meter of beige, your instructions, and there's your blue panel. So these will be your four apples. They're your borders, they're your stems, they're your leaves. 1999. Lovely little project. All you need then is a is a cushion pad to put inside it. No fly. Don't forget, oh, are you ready? Yeah, I was gonna say I've never made one of those book. You know, like you'd get a book cushion. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And I was just thinking about the envelope back on this. Surely if you turned it round the right way, you could also make it for a child and put a couple of books in the back, couldn't you? Using yeah, yeah, that yeah, envelope. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay, the side borders. Mm -hmm. So we're working our way out. Right? 
I'll also remind you of the early bird, if that's right, because you'll need some bond web. So today's the first early bird today sold out. The second one is this. It's a kit of two bond webs. Oops. Two bond webs and an applique mat. £9.97. Okay, I'm not supposed to tell you this. At the beginning of the... Um, I thought when I was doing the iron earlier, and I was like, Hayley's forgotten to put the price up. She just, had, she just texted Hannah going, I didn't, uh, not put it up, I mean put it to the right price, right? She said, oh, I forgot to put it to the right price. Yes, Hayley, you did. Put it at the wrong price. But you've all bought it, sold out, now nothing we do about it now. She's not going to come round to each house and go, well, you owe me a fiver, is she? Where's she might. <laughs> She's got a nice posh car to drive around in, so she might. Anyway, this is your early bird. Two bonder webs and your replique came Oh, sorry, um, Emma. And your replique came at £9.97, saving £3. Lovely. Side on me. You see, I'm not a great lover normally of the colour beige. But it works really beautifully with these, doesn't it? It's that lovely kind of neutral tones on here. It's lovely. Right. So mine's a little bit off. I don't know if you can... Can you see that from there? Yeah. What's well, a bit off? So my, my seam and the way oh. I put this together is just... Oh, no. That happens to all of us. So what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm pinning it so that I'm just going to take a slightly smaller seam there. Yeah, you see yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So you can overcome these things. So don't look at it and think, oh, that's a disaster. And oh, no, I'm picking no, things, no, you know? Is that, what, did, is that the way be the... Oh, no, I don't know what, the way that is. Anyway, uh, message from who, sorry? Collector in Somerset says... Hi, just ordered the green apple cushion kit. I would like to make it into a wall hanging as I live at Apple Tree Cottage. Oh, wow, that's oh wonderful. that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Love to all, she says. Collector in Somerset. Oh, that'd be nice. Sandy says, good morning, John and Sally Ann. Morning, Gorgeous Sandy. cushion. Sally Ann is always full of lovely idea, ideas. I love her style. Uh, okay. Styles, yeah. Sandy oh, from Not you, Sandy. So Sunny Cornwall. <laughs> now, you see, was it raining where you were last night? Um, I didn't hear it, but when I got up this morning, I went outside and it was all wet. So yeah, I was, still, I was chucking it down when I drove it in. It wasn't anything torrential. Oh, no. The gar I mean, the gardens needed it, but... Um, the roads were bad, but then it really started raining heavily as I left Stratford. Yeah. Emma was driving so fast that the, the um, rain didn't have time to settle on her. Uh... It's really funny because I come to uh, well, the way I come. I don't come the same way as Emma in the morning, but where I come in, I come to the final roundabout, and there's always a white car that comes racing up because I join the road like this, and there's a white car that comes racing up like this, and I go, oh, I bet that's Emma. It's not. She's coming completely the other way, but I think here every single morning. There she goes. Okay, so that's right. the completed. Oh, should we give that just a little quick whiz over the way? Top. So again, I've pressed the seams outwards. Uh huh. Oh, Glenny says, what a lovely demo. I've got to go out now, but I'll check back in later. Yeah, Glenny, Sally Ann's on again in an hour's time, so make sure you're back in time for that. Right, so here is a quilt sandwich I prepared earlier. Right. So this is a piece of batting and a, and a square of just ordinary... Cotton. Anything out of your stash. Yeah, basically it's there to... Because some sewing machine, if I sewed it without, so just that and that together, yeah. then the sewing machine sometimes drags it down into the bed of the machine, whereas yeah. if you put this in, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. So this is do your quilting on the front, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and also attaching your appliques as well. Okay, so. Okay, the green one, there are now fewer than 20 of the green ones left. So if I was home, I'd probably spray it with 505. Yeah. But as I'm here, just I'm just going to 
pin it, stop it moving around. So now, are you going to do free motion on it? Yes, but right. you don't have to I was going to, to say, that. what happens if people are terrified yeah, of free motion? If you're motion? terrified of free motion, just do it with an ordinary, you know, open toe foot. Yeah. You can do it with a, you could, well, I wouldn't do it with a zigzag because that might be a bit too heavy, but you could certainly blanket stitch yeah, it. Yeah, 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 definitely. So I'm going right through all the layers. Yeah. So, we worked this out, didn't we? Let's drop the feed. I'm gonna drop the feed, dog? Yeah, and I'm going to change the foot. There, yeah. the foot. Where has it gone? <clears throat> so, on your machine, this could be called a darning foot or a free motion foot. foot. Yeah. We don't want it to fall off halfway, do we? Oh. Is it righty tighty? It's what? Righty tighty, left. Yeah, easy. yeah, righty tighty. Right. Okay, so I've dropped the feed. I wanted to put it on 04. We've, that's what we. Yeah. Decided. We've had a practice this We've morning. We've had a practice session. It might beep. Now, the first time Sally Ann puts her foot on the bed, that might beep. Don't worry. Won't okay. do it this time, will it? It'll be fine this time. Well, actually, we'll, we'll use the rogue one because you can see the stitches oh, probably yeah, better yeah, yeah. on there. Yeah. Um, so, I'm gonna. So I'm about probably about an eighth of an inch away from the edge. Uh huh. I'm gonna try and pull that thread to the top. That just stops them getting tangled up. Yeah. And then. Kerry from Living Loveliness says, "Good morning, John and Sally Ann Harrison. Morning, Perfect Kerry. for the thank you gifts." For our awesome teachers, loving the colours. Oh, gosh, well, that's a yeah, because nice it, it, it ties in Apple for the teacher, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Apple. A, oh, no, it's a doctor Apple a day, isn't it? Uh, so, oh, no, but you're taking an Apple for the teacher, yeah? Yeah. Sometimes mishaps are happy one. I like the way the reversed Apple stands out. Super projects, as always, from Sally, says Ange. Right, so what are you doing? Here we go. Okay. Emma. So, just going round the edge. Get rid of that end because I don't want to clip that in. Let's get rid of those. So what you're doing is you feed dogs down. You're literally yep. writing with your needle, aren't yep. you? So you don't move the. When I first tried this, I tried moving it round because you normally say you'd be twisting. Look, you don't twist. The, the piece round, you just move it round with both your hands, yes. don't you? Yes, yeah, exactly. And I mean, it's only a small thing, so you know, if you want to give it a go, it could yeah. be, you know, a great opportunity yeah. to try don't, it out. Don't do it straight onto your project, have a little go of it, because yeah. the very first time I tried it, I was rubbish, and I was only doing a square in a circle. But then, within 10, 15 minutes, you've then got the feel of it, and the flow of it. Okay, so I've done the, the stalk as well, or the uh -huh. stem, and I'm just gonna move it around. Because it's a good size to sort of move around and, you know, it's not like a big bulky quilt. Yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, so it's good to practice like this. Uh. And you can move it sideways. So I'm, you know, I'm almost making like a little window with my hands. Yeah. I'm going to clip off those threads again. Dawn says, will it fray? It will fray a little bit if you wash it. Yeah. But that's the whole joy of it. It's not going to fray away so that it falls off. <clears throat> it will fray up until the stitches, and then the stitches will stop it fraying. So you'll just get a little few bits of the bead. To begin with, the bond web will hold it in place, and then as time goes on, it'll just fray a little bit. Okay, so that's what... Okay. Can you... There we go. It's going to come down, have a look at that. So you've literally just gone round a couple of times. You don't have to make the lines... <coughs> go over each other. It's no. quite nice to make them a bit wobbly and a bit kind yeah. of uh, rogue sort of thing. Yeah, you could go around as many times yeah. as you want. You could take out some elements. You could put in some, some yeah. seeds. You could do whatever you want. So you literally have just... Uh, oh, yeah, because that looks like you've sliced that apple in half. Yeah. It's good that you did it on purpose. <laughs> did it on purpose. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So you um, uh, you do all the four of your apples, yeah, do you? Yeah, all four like that. 
And then what would you do after that? Right, so I'm going to put in some straight line quilting. Oh, she's changing the foot again, everyone, live on TV. <laughs> so we're going on to the walking foot. You put the walking foot, foot on, on now. Yeah. So remember, with a walking foot, your arm needs to go yep. above that screw. The number of times that I've done it wrong. I've oh, got, don't, I've got this, this machine. This walking foot is not working. Yeah, no, sort of no. Stuff. I kept taking it to my next door neighbour, Chris, who's a quilter, and saying, oh, this blooming machine, the walking foot doesn't work. She went, John, you haven't put the thing above that. I was like, oh, no. OK. Yep, so I would quilt it in the ditch. Yep. I'm just going to go around once to show okay. you. And you put your feed dogs back up. Yep, I yep, I've done that. Um, saying that, if I put it on 01, then that should put the needle in the middle. Yeah. And I'm going to make the stitch just a bit bigger, as you would right. with quilting, sort of 2.83. Right. And then you're going to aim for that ditch. If you haven't got a walking foot, I'm sure you'll be, be perfectly, because it's not too thick, is it? You think you, yeah. you should be all and right. And also, there. it's not too long a, yes. a stretch. So if you haven't got a walking foot, what I would do, I'll show you with this foot, is... The way to ease it round, so yeah. I'll get to a straight bit in a minute, is to take a few stitches and then lift your press the foot and that just eases it through. Let's it, let's it and through, then a bit it? few more. And keep doing that all the way along and, and basically you've caught mimicked a, a, a walking foot by yeah. doing that. Julie says, morning, lovely morning. demo. Rose has got a question for you. What stitch length do you use for free motion sewing? So you put it on zero. Did you get that, Rosie? Zero. No, but what is controlling the stitch length is this is your hands and yeah. the way you move it under the machine. So it really is a question of playing with it. So the faster you push it through, the bigger your, your, bigger your stitch can be. The slower you go, the closer together they're going to be. Rachel on the bottom. Hi, Sally Ann. Oh, it's not even for me. Look. Hi, Sally Ann. Been looking for some new cushions for my lounge. We'll be buying the green one, which will look perfect, from Rachel in Wiltshire. Fabulous. Oh, get two. Oh, but be careful with the green, because <coughs> the green's very, very popular. out a bit this morning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You've only got a couple of more minutes left to we could maybe just talk through what we okay. have to do next. So what you would do next is you'd actually just straighten it up. Yeah. So I'm going to... So cute, it's very fresh, isn't it, looking, very fresh looking. There we go. Okay. Then you would move on to assemble the back, which is just an envelope back. Uh huh. So it tells you the sizes to cut the two pieces. So basically, you put one over the other. Yeah, of course. We did this yesterday, so, um, but yeah. The... Oh, okay. Then. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying it like that. <clears throat> but I'm just Excuse saying, the, the, the one thing with yours, it's the artistry of the front and then an envelope back. But yes, you yeah, just put so, your two pieces. Yeah, well, I've got, I've turned under the, the long edge, uh -huh. probably half an inch and then half an inch again and just uh -huh. sewed it in place. I'm going to put it right sides together with the front of the cushion. Lovely. And then do the same the other side. Uh -huh. oh, hang on, I just need to sew that one down. Oops. 
Katie Gonzalez. Can you see that they overlap yeah. each other, hence the term envelope? Yeah, don't be skimpy on the overlapping either, because I can't bear it when you have an envelope back and the cushion's bursting through on the other side. Yeah. <coughs> so you would just go around, pin it in position, and then sew all the way around the edge. Have I got time to do that? Uh, yes, 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 yeah, yes, okay. you have, yeah. Just going to pin it, particularly through here where there's lots of layers. Uh-huh. That's where it tends to walk about. Or you could use clips. Uh huh. Just put a few through. Right. Okay. So I'm going to set the walking foot to the quarter inch seam again. Okay. And. So uh, you sew it from the applique side upwards. Does it matter which way up you have it? Um, I just think it's easier to sew it from this side because I know that I've caught it. Uh, hi, John and Sally Ann. I love free motion sewing, but my thread sometimes snaps. What could this be from Christine in Cleethorpe? Oh, it could be lots of different things. Yeah. Needle size, could be the thread itself. Yeah, it's what thread are you tension. using? So lots of people say that they have that they can do uh, do it with one make of thread, and and it's brilliant. Then do it with another make of thread, and it doesn't work. Keeps snapping. Yeah. Sally yeah. Ann always makes such pretty projects, says Julie. If anyone knows an answer to Christine's uh, um, dilemma, it's on the Facebook. Could you give her a quick answer in case you know something that we don't? What about free motion? Hmm? About snapping threads? Yeah. Mm. I change, I play with the needle first. Yeah. That would be my starting point. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the Microtex needles. Uh huh. Um, I find that they work for most things. So make sure you're catching. There we go. Yeah. yeah. And you don't need to leave a turning hole deep because you're going to go through the envelope back. Yeah. Clip off the corners. Yeah. I was just excited to show you what it looks like. Turn three. Yeah, no, 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 exactly. And I notice you've also have you done another, another line of top stitching? Excuse me. My yeah. So I brought it in. So I'll <coughs> show you that now. So let's try to get this reasonably. There's your okay. envelope back. There's your cushion. Right. So you could just leave it like that if you want to and put a big cushion pad in. Yes. But on your pink one, yeah. could you, do you want to get the pink one down and just show us what you've done? Because we haven't got time to actually sew it. But. So all I've done is I've actually, and it tells you how much to measure in. So you yeah. measure in on the, and then you put in a line of stitching. Because it makes it look like one of those... Um, I, don't, I never know the name, but you know when you can get pillowcases that are just a pillowcase, and then you get the pillowcases with the bit around the outside, the posh bit around the outside. It's a flange. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was called a housemaid's pillowcase or something like that. Oh, but 
Anyway, it's the flange. flange they did, cushion. Oh, no, oh, I nearly gave something away. Then. I was going to say they did flanges last they, night. They did, on, um, they did. Great, but you're saying, but yeah. So you just measure in. I use like a Frickson pen, yeah, and yeah. then just walking foot round it, and then a couple more lines to finish it off. Lovely. Thank you very much, Dean. Sally Ann's back in an hour's time. When she's doing, see the block behind her there. She, that's a column of a quilt, and we've got bundles for that. <clears throat> right. Okay. Let me just round up this hour then. So. The green one, there are more people in baskets than we've got, so please make sure you check out on the green one. The pink one, which the sample's made out of. Right, loads in baskets that one. Quarter of the stock's been checked out, but there's loads. You've got the pink one in the basket. That's your pink one there. And then last but not least, your blue one, which we've not seen anything of in the show. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Those blues are gorgeous, aren't they? At uh, 19.99, all of those. All you need, really, is a cushion, a cushion pad, not a pushing cat. Cushion, <laughs> pushing, cushion pad. Right. Uh, don't go anywhere because straight after the break, I am back with fabrics, new fabrics, and some of my old favourites. I'll see you in three from now. It's my birthday and we're having a whole weekend of celebrations. I know, we've got new guests, we've got brand new projects, we've got uh, giveaways, fabulous birthday giveaways for everybody who shops. Join us on Saturday, June the 19th and Sunday, June the 20th to join in the celebrations. Uh, you can find us on Sky 670, Freeview 72, YouTube and our very own Facebook page. I'll see you there. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. 
And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Tune into Sewing Street this week for amazing early bird deals. We have two each day from Monday the 14th to Friday the 18th of June with new early bird deals and we're bringing back some of your favourite deals too. Watch from 8am to 1pm on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube or our Facebook Live. For a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Um, Christine says uh, she's going to try changing the needle. I use Gutman threads. They, they're normally fine for it. Um, that was what she was saying when she did her um, free motion. Her, her thread kept breaking. Uh, Margaret says it's called an Oxford pillowcase, John. Loving the shirt. Thank you. This is the very, very first Claudio Lugli I ever bought. And I bought it from a shop in Solio in, what's the Touchwood Centre. Right, brand new fabrics. I've got these brand new fabrics, got these brand new fabrics, got these that have only been on once. I've got those that are favourites. I've got lots to do this hour. So let's get on with it, shall we? Right, now this is not a bundle. I just have all these fabrics by the half metre, but there's a theme going on. Look, butterfly, butterfly, moth, moth. Look, aren't they pretty? That's, oh, oh. Lovely colour. Oh, 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 that's lovely. They're from what range, did you say? Ariel, like the washing powder. Oh, there's a mermaid apparently called Ariel. Right, so I'm just going to work my way through them because they're available by the half metre for you. And then Ariel Flock in Mauve, this one's called. Right, they're 44 inches wide. They are 100% cotton. They are quilting weight and they are machine washable. Ariel, it's by Tamara Kate. Lovely. Oh, imagine a little girl's skirt in that. That is just adorable. I'll put my hand in because, oh, hang on, where, there you go. I'll put my hand in, right? I keep forgetting that my iPad's about 20 seconds later. I'm like, where's my hand? Why is not my man hand come in the shot? Just so you can see the size, the size of the butterflies are like that of my hand. They're what? Yeah, wind and fabrics. Presents Ariel by Tamara Kate. Yeah. Ariel flock on mauve. This one flock of butterflies. Oh, actually, that's a moth. I think, isn't it? That one. That's very Tula. That moth, isn't it? Beautiful, though, aren't they? The background is a really lovely deep mauve, and then you've got all the pinks and the oranges and the greys in there. Can, John, can you tell me the pins that Sally Ann was using? Oh, I can't. They're called magic pins. Out of stock at the moment. Keep your eye on for them, though. They're called magic pins. You can iron over them. Uh, we, they only came in about three days ago, and they've all sold out straight away. Uh-huh. Okay, right. Let me explain something to you. When we choose, well, when I don't, when our buying team choose a fabric, they are sent like a booklet from the designer to say, we have got this lovely aerial range. Would you be interested in it? Now, we don't have the whole range, but this, well, I just want you to see this, because this is what they send out, right? And it's nice. No, look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. Because look at that. That's, that's, oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. That moth is a moth that's on this fabric, but they've used the fabrics from the collection to applique the moth. Do you see what I mean? So I've got that orange and pink coming up later. You know what I mean? It's really lovely, isn't it? And there's a little bit there about uh, the designer, Tamara Kate, and the collections from a Wonder Garden. And then look, these are inspirations. Oh my word, that's a full-size quilt. Oh, I love it. 
Oh, that is, so, they're not normally this beautiful, the booklets here. Wonder Garden, the quilt, the gift quilt, 40 by 55. Oh my word, I wonder if she does free patterns. Yeah. Oh, look, that's beautiful. These are just inspirations that you can do with this fabric. Oh, we need to get some of these quilt kits, don't we? They're lovely. Yeah, look at that one there, the bug, a bug in the background. Oh, oh, they're beautiful. All these different things you could do with this fabric range. Diabolical, that one was called. And there they are. So we've got a lot of them. We've got a lot of them. I just haven't got all of them, that's all. And then that's what the buyers look at to see what they need to buy for the different quilts and everything like that. And there they are. There they all are, you see. So we've got a lot of them. We just haven't got all of them. So let's put flock in mauve away. And I'll now get out flock in. I want to call it lilac. Oh, pink. Okay. Uh, the butterflies are exactly the same colour. Isn't it weird? That, oh, no. The designer calls it lilac. There you go. So I don't know why we've called it pink. Um, so the moths are a different colour than they were on the mauve. But the butterflies look like they're the same colour. No, no, they're not. Oh, you see are. Anyway, they're beautiful, aren't they? So this is Aerial Flock on pink. Designer called it mauve. I call it mauve. Hannah calls it mauve. Emma calls it brown. Emma, I think Emma and Paul went to the same colour school. 6 99 Little Paul I'm talking about now. I think it's beautiful, look. It's just lovely, isn't it? I'll turn it the other way. There you go. I like the way that on her inspiration, she's created, recreated that moth, but using all different fabrics. Okay, I'm going to move on. Now, the next one, I've got it in two different colourways. It's like kind of the fronds of leaves. There is a moth in there. Lovely colours, beautiful colours in there. Scatter on cream, this one is. Say this again. Do you know what? Why isn't this £7.49? Oh, no, I'm thinking this should be... Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I think. Just it's good value because it's really good quality cotton. 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight fabric. But you can make a shirt out of that, a dress out of that, little kiddies' clothes out of that, curtains out of that, cushions out of that. The choice is endless. I'll put my hand in so you see the size of the print. Oh, actually, what a perfect shirt to be wearing today. Oh, I, so I think someone's had a fall upstairs. Not Hannah, don't worry. So they go six ninety nine aerial scatter on cream. That's lovely. I love because you've got the mauve in there. You've got a bit of aubergine, a bit of red, a bit of mustard. Well, that reminds me. What am I going to have for my dinner tonight? I haven't had an aubergine for ages. Oh, look at my. I'm up. I'm up. Hair cut tomorrow. Is it my day off tomorrow? Yeah, I'm up. My hair cut tomorrow. Well, I was supposed to have it done on Monday, but I had to work on Monday. Now, oh, look, now, now, now. So this one here is scatter in the day. This one here is scatter in the night. Oh, I think, oh, I love this one. Six ninety nine for half a metre. It's called, well, we've called it charcoal. The designers called it, oh, hang on. Oh, we haven't got that at the moment. I think that's beautiful. I would call it more of a midnight blue than a charcoal to be perf. Oh, well, maybe not. No, maybe, maybe it's right. Maybe it's right. Charcoal's right. I love it because it's like night time and you just, the moths are just flickering in the flame. You know what I mean? I think, that, I think that's beautiful.
And what would you like me to say? Okay, right, Hannah's been looking for a free pattern for you to go with this fabric from Wind and Fabrics. They don't have any with this fabric, but she's found a free pattern from Wyndham's that you could. Look. If you go to Wyndham's and you click on free projects. This one's a couple of pages in. That look, my friend Sheila used to be, be a Miss Bluebell dancer. She had a costume just like that. And you can download it all, look. That one's called Take a Flight. Take a flight, Hannah. Six ninety nine. this is for half of me. 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable. <laughs> <laughs> six pounds at, oh uh, that's like okay so hannah is on the phone she's on the phone somebody important phone it's, it's fine she's allowed to make it right and she i'm sorry i'm not weird but i have to tell somebody what to do that's my job i tell somebody what to do she presses buttons really doesn't she but anyway look it's beautiful that one aerial scatter on charcoal that is lovely isn't it just beautiful Look at the colours, look at the colours in, in, within these moths here. And then it's really light, there's a beautiful light going through the night sky, isn't there? At 6 99 Now remember we sell by half metre increments, so if you want half a metre it's one unit, if you want four metres that's eight units, but obviously you can just tell, if you ring the call centre on 0800 001 4433, they will just take, they'll sort it out for you. Just say, I want five metres, they'll sort it out for you. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next one now. Right, this one comes in four different colourways. Look, this one. It comes in the bright, like kind of lemon or lime. Comes in the soft grey. Comes in the most beautiful pink there and the orange. So I'm going to start with the lime one. Oh, mustard, we've called it. It's not mustard, is it? I'd call that kind of zesty lemon or zesty lime or something like that. I'm trying to work out how I can describe the colour to you. Anyway, it's wingspan, this one. Wingspan. Let's have a look why. Oh, I forgot it the right way up. That might help. There you go. Oh, I like it because it's got a regular pattern going. It's not random. So you've got a stripe here of your leaves and then you've got a stripe there of your but that's not even a moth i think that's a hornet or something isn't it morning says low <laughs> thanks hannah making my job sound very interesting six pounds and 99 pence for half a meter i know 100 percent cotton machine washable it's adorable isn't it 6.99 for half a meter 44 inches wide let me hold it up for you Look, isn't that lovely? Yours won't be as creased, well, it might be. Give it a good press. Give it a good press before you use it, though. Okay, so that was... It's not mustard at all. It's halfway between a lemon and a lime, that one. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the grey one. You'll be able to see the pattern more thoroughly on this one. Look, you see what I mean about the pattern? So you get the line there of your leaves... Then you get your line there of your little mosquitoes. It's lovely. Have I got it upside down? There you go. Aerial wingspan on grey, this one's called. I think that's really pretty, isn't it? Remember, it's 6 99 for half a metre. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm moving now onto the pink one. Oops. Look. That's like uh, bubble gummy, isn't it? Graphics are coming in. They've just called it pink on this one. Lovely, isn't it? 
Oh, okay. Sue says, don't worry, Hannah. I say that no one knew what I did until I didn't do it anymore. I know it was, I, I, you don't mind me explaining, do you? So Hannah, Hannah had a fall yesterday and she just, she, she's fine, she's absolutely fine, but she just wants it checked because Hannah only has to get a mosquito bite and the whole of the left-hand side all, you know. One, uh, where are we working? And she got a little bite on her leg and she kept saying, I have to sit, go and see a doctor. And everyone's going, it's just, a, it's just, anyway, it got bigger and bigger and bigger like this. Anyway, she drew a line of pencil, a line of pen around how big it was because by the next day it was even bigger like this and the doctor wouldn't believe it. Anyway, she's just making an appointment to go and see the doctor just to check there's nothing wrong. She just wants to make sure it's nice and clean, that's all. At 6 99 that one. <laughs> no, it's not b broken or anything, is it? <laughs> right, this is a lovely colour, this one here. So, um, so Hannah, that's, this is Hannah's way of getting off work early. They offered her 11 o'clock and she went, oh, can't quite make 11, so she's going at 2 instead. Which means Emma's going to be packing the boxes on her own. 6 99 Hayley's not in. Oh, does she? Uh, orange. They've got, but look at the background. The backgrounds are soft. A really, really, really soft pink on this one. Very pretty. Now, this next one. I love, 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 love this next one. I could, do, I could make a shirt out of this. Because look. You'd have to match, what you'd have to do is you'd have to match your stripes going across, wouldn't you? They're like kind of hand, look how they're drawn. They're like, like they've got the paintbrush and they've just done splodges. Right now, it's definitely, well, say that again. She uses watercolours. They, to me, they look more like kind of acrylics or oils, don't they? But... <laughs> Six ninety nine, uh, petite bets. On oh, what bet? What's a bet? It's obviously small. Petite doesn't normally have an S on it, though, does it? Bette, Betty's, small Betty's. These are tea rooms. We're going to the tea rooms. We're having cake. No, <laughs> it means small beasts. They're not really beast-like, though, are they? They're lovely. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, we should have accents on Betes. Yeah, got there in the end. Not an umlaut, an accent. Yeah. Right, now look at this one. How fresh is this one? Look, 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 look. Isn't that pretty? It's almost like she's used fewer colours. Because, yeah, there's no mauve one there. Hmm? Lampshade would be lovely. No, thank you. I've got enough lampshades, thank you. And also, you'd have to work pretty fast to have it ready by Saturday, Hannah. I've going to do what? Six ninety-nine. The choice is whether Hannah makes me a lampshade over the weekend or goes to London and gets drunk for three days. And the lampshade didn't win. Lovely. Right, OK, that's all of that range. <clears throat> that's all of that one. The which one? Oh, yes. Not, we're not doing that with the vegetable one yet. Right, OK, we're staying with the bug theme. Now, these are... Uh, I've got a mega bundle. I have got a mega bundle. Right, let me get them all out, actually. So I've got a mega bundle. The reason in these three piles is I've also got three smaller mega bundles. Right, look at this. Right, this is a mega bundle. You get all of these. Now, what did we use these on the other day? Or did I just have fab... Fa because I remember this fabric. We love this fabric so much.
What you trying to say, Hannah? Yeah. Yeah. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, we've had these with Susie Duncan using the crazier eight ruler the other day. So now this is the mega bundle, £99.85. Uh, you can get it on split pay if you want to, £249.92. You're saving £5. £5 is what you're saving on this. So you get all of these, you get all of these fabrics for your 99.85, saving £5. Just get them in the right order. Oops. Okay, oops. Oh, my word, single figures already. Single figures already of this bundle. They are beautiful. I love, we love this fabric. Look, look, look. There you go. I've just put them in the right order. So you get three of the bumblebees. You get three of the flowers. You get three of the twirls. You get three of the honeycombs. And then three of these magnificent, like, beehive and bumblebee. And aren't they gorgeous? £99.85 if you want the whole mega bundle. You get all of those. Oh, uh, uh, Lowe's got us on our main computer so she can work with that, us wittering on in the background. So you can have the choice of doing two interest-free payments of 49 92 or you can just pay for it in one go, 99 85 Whichever way you take it, you do get £5 off. You do not pay any interest whatsoever if you take the split pay. It's there to be used. Oh, I've got three left. If the two pe there's two people I haven't checked out yet, right? And then that leaves me with three. So there's three available. Two people have got it in their, bun in their basket. Right, now I haven't got this by the half metre, but I have got them in the, smaller, um, in the smaller bundles. So I could do this one first. Cream, they call this one. So you get half a metre of this beautiful fabric, half a metre of the honeycomb, half a metre of the toile, half a metre of the beautiful like, icons and, and going all over, and then half a metre of the grey bees. They're, ju they're f just beautiful, beautiful fabrics, look. So that, that bundle there is £33.99. You get two and a half metres of fabric. They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is still my favourite print, though, on the whole collection. Yeah. That one. Oh, no, you mean that design there? Yeah. Because, look, this, is the, this, is, this, this takes that same uh, drawing there. Hang on. That, that drawing there and that there is repeated in there, look. But I love the, I love the clover. I haven't seen a clover like that for years since I was a child. I know. Okay, so that's your mini bundle of that one. Then I've got the blue. There you go, there's the blue bundle now. So again, you get exactly the same fabric. You get the bumblebees on blue. You get the smaller icons there. You've got the toile there. You've got your... Um, Honeycomb there, and then that really lovely fabric there with the clovers coloured in, clover coloured. Well, I, I, I'm sure they must come in two colours. I'm sure they came in purple and in white when I was little. Who knows? So that's the blue bundle. Oh, aqua, sorry, aqua, aqua. Uh, Christine says, morning, gorgeous, John Scott and team. I love these, but the blue on blue is my favourite. Oh, that one. That's your favourite, is it? That's the one Hannah and I are having in, as wallpaper in our lounge, in our, in our breakfast room. We've not moved in yet because we've not bought the house. Well, we might be buying the Lumiere house, might we, Hannah? I, there must be some walls in there. I for, keep forgetting to go and look at it on the website, see what it's like inside. We need to, no, no, we don't need to get married first. What we need is we need to raise 1.25 million pounds first. What colour is this one? Then this is the um, blush. At 33.99. 
as long as we have who at the reception? Okay, she says, as long as we have come on Arlene at, at singing at the reception, she's happy. £33.99, pence. there we go. That one's in the blush, they've called that one. I think this fabric is just incredible. The colours in there. Oh, they've got blue clover in that one. £33.99. pence. Okay, so I've done those, done that. Let me just do this one on its own, because Hannah chose this for you, because she, she absolutely adores it. There's no other fabrics with it at the moment, just this one, because she just loves it. Little Darlings, Woodland Splodges on Cream, it's called. Splodges, is that, is that a real world, Splodges? Lisa Lee says, morning, John, everyone watching whilst waiting for Dinah Rod, as the plumber couldn't fix it yesterday. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, hang on. Oh, Hannah, I feel for you. I slipped off the edge of a pavement, went down like a sack of potatoes, grazed my knee quite badly. Oh, Carol. Oh, you be careful now out there. There we go. Now, would you like to go to the, the, the vegetable fabric now? Right, this comes in three different bundles this one i'll show you the three different bundles to start with so there's, there's black okay so this is black this is the black one so you get that 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 oh that oh and a brick a wooden wall uh so that's one two three and then i've got the green version nice lovely fabulous you see now cat wants to do an attic windows using that as the frame fabric. Because it would be wood, wouldn't it, your frame? Then you've got your, uh, this one's called ivory. Well, it's half, it's everything but ivory. So oh, that's nice, the yellow one there, isn't it? Then you've got your, there your washed out floorboards, very California, and then that's your seeds there. Which one do you want to do first then? Right, oh, ivory certified delicious, it's called. So you get half a meter of this one. It's like my shopping list, this one. Oh, do you know what, yesterday, I went to Waitrose on the way home very quickly before I went to the doctors. And, oh, and uh, Michelle with the pink hair was there. She's had her hair done like rainbow in the pharmacy. She looked lovely. Anyway, that's by the by. Um, got to Waitrose, couldn't find my list. So I was like, well, and you know that thing when you're, I know. Uh, anyway, I got back in the car, got home, unpacked my bag. There was the list at the bottom of the bag. So annoying. And I did forget two things. Uh, June says, I missed it. What has Hannah done? Oh, June, she was taking Reggie, the dog, for a walk last night. She went over a bridge. The end of the bridge finished. I think where there's a claim, there's a blade, you know, that thing. Um, anyway, she went down into a hole, right? So she's grazed all her hands here on all her knees. It's, it's, um, it's nice just for, for well, it's not, you're not 30 for another month yet. Yeah, and she's going to London to celebrate her birthday this weekend. But anyway, that's by the by. It's like, a, it's, it's just, she's fine. She's absolutely fine. She's just frightened that it, she hasn't cleaned it properly enough. So she's going to go and see. You know, you can't go to a walking centre without ringing for, obviously, because we're in a pandemic, I suppose. Anyway, look, half a metre of this one. Half a metre of this one. So what is this one, do you think? Jars, it's called. Then you've got the um, wood, the washed out wood, very California. And then you've got your vegetable packets of seeds. I've got a tomato plant going on the windowsill. I must, pl I must plant it out tomorrow. I'm one of the hundreds of things I've got to do on my day off tomorrow. Oh, hang on, are these? Oh, yeah, they are seeds. Yeah, they are seeds. Oh, sorry. Which is... <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm just folding that one up. What colour are you going to next then, Hannah? We'll go to the black one next. Exactly the same fabrics, but with a black base to them. Here we go. So you've got the black writing. Oh, actually, that one's got a mottled background. Right? 
Then you've got your black mottled background with your jars, your black background with your seed packets, and then no black floors. There's no black floors. Oh, June, uh, June says, is, is Reggie all right? Yeah, Reggie's fine. Oh, actually, when she was trying to get out the hole in the ground, he was licking her face. He thought it was a game. He thought she'd thrown herself down like that on purpose. You dropped Reggie's treats. Did he eat them all? Look, so the, you get the uh, two metres of fabric, £27.49. Beautiful. And then last but not least, we've got the green. Oh, don't take the phone in the shop with me. Lauren said, uh, to put the shopping list on your phone. No. <laughs> I don't want them to know where I'm going. Oh, I like this bundle, actually. I hadn't even thought about that, but then I'd have to remember my glasses as well, because I can't read the phone without my glasses. Oh, it's horrible getting old, isn't it? All I need now is a fall, and that just makes it, doesn't it? Oh, I love that one. That one, that's my favourite bundle. £27.49, you get two metres of fabric in there. Green certified delicious. Oh, I can do the fabrics on their own now. We'll do the words first. I'll do the words in green first. Very lovely olive colour, this one. So I'll do all three of them in the words. So there's your words in green. Six ninety nine. Farm fresh, farm fresh, natural, organic, veggies, locally grown, natural product, certified organic, fruit stand. Well, I couldn't figure out what that second word was. Oh, Shelley's got an app on her phone for a shopping list. Oh, that's posh. So that's the green one with words. Then I've got the black one with words. Now the background of this one's a little bit kind of, oh and the green one's a little bit mottled. Oh you can see it there. 6 99 for half a metre. Six ninety nine. Okay, I'm, I'm going fast because I've just seen the time. Then I've got the... Um, now, they've called, in the bundle it was called ivory, but I don't know if this one would be called ivory. Oh, it is called ivory. Fresh text on ivory. I'd say it was a celery colour myself. What colour do you think it is, Hannah? Uh, Shelley says, I'm not posh, you know me. Well, no, Shelley, I, I mean, I, think it's, I don't know what an app is even, let alone a shopping app. I've got the app for here now. I know. Right, let's do the wood in black. Or you might need, do you need the code for this one? Are you all right? Oh, she's all right. There you go. It does end 38. Birch, this is, oh, excuse me, birch. Is it birch or silver birch? Yeah, we don't do that here, though. <laughs> yeah, Hannah thinks it'd be very good for a kit that we don't actually sell here. But it would be, for the nativity, giving you a clue, for the nativity. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, yesterday's, um, the book, the textile art book would be lovely. Right, this is the, uh, f I was going to say flooring, it's not flooring, wooden out of the green bundle. And 35. <clears throat> sage, this one's called. Sage. Nice, isn't it? I like that one. 
I'm not sure I'd want it in my house, but I do like it. I would if I lived in one of those houses with a veranda, you know, in, in America, and there's like, then they come by singing Oklahoma and Seven Brides for Seven Brothers and things like that. Yeah, living in a musical, yeah. Then this one, ivory wood, this one. I don't think that's a technical term for wood, is it ivory? Ivory wash, maybe. <clears throat> Shelley says, I have to make lots of lists. I forget what I need or what I'm doing. Oh, listen, I did that this morning. I just finished talking to Sally Ann. Came wandering in here and I was like, Sally Ann, what have I come in here for? She was like, I don't know, John. Right, Joe, let's do the seed packets on black next. This is quite striking, this one, isn't it? Now, little Paul would like that as a shirt, I think. Seed packets on black. You've got red cabbage, I think that is. You've got a pumpkin. You've got a lettuce, carrot, chilies, tomatoes, peas. Oh, what kind of... No, they're not peas. It says they're something else. Pole beans. I've never heard of a pole bean. That's lovely, isn't it? The what? Well, yeah, they look like peas in the shed, but they call them beans. Right, okay, then we'll do the seed packets in the green. Oh, yeah, yeah, who was thinking? Who was thinking that? And says, I was agree with you, Hannah. I was thinking for the roof of the nativity, Anna. 6 99 This is the green seed packets. Lots of coming and going today, isn't there? Okay, and then I've got the seeds on the ivory now. There you go, seeds on the ivory. Oh, we called it sage this time. I once, oh no, uh, uh, when I, um, I used to go on, remember the other day, if you're watching, I showed a picture of Lindy Hemming when she won her Oscar. She's got a house in Italy. I used to go on holiday with her to a house in Italy and she had sage in the garden. And one night she made some sage, a stew with some sage in it. Oh, <laughs> I think I woke up the whole valley in Tuscany that night. Right, then I've got the um, jars on black. Quite dramatic, that one, isn't it? Looks like there's cotton wool balls in some of those. Anna said she used to watch a kiddies programme where they had ghosts kept in jars. I don't know what she's talking about. Then I've got the um, green one. Jars on green. We've called these what they are, haven't we? And then I've got the jars on yellow, but they're from the ivory collection. It's a nice yellow, this one. Buttery yellow, that one. Jars on yellow. Hannah would get those embroidered sweets inside the jars. She wouldn't, because she'd have eaten them by the time she'd filled the jar. Right, oh, that's those, that's those, that's those. Now, I've still got, oh, now I've got very little time. We, beach bundle. Now, this is just available in a bundle. So, oh, look. So, you've got the turtles. You've got the beach bound, which I'll show you more in a second. Then you've got your flip-flops. Then you've got your surfboard and your um, car. And then you've got, oh, I love this one, you've got parasols. One, two, three, four, five fabrics, two and a half metres there. Graphics coming in. £43.94 and will get you the uh, two and a half metres of fabric. Sorry, say that again. That, blimey, right, there's only seven left already. I haven't even seen this before. 
We cannot make this bundle again because this has sold out. Oh, not this. This. Has, did you say, no, hang on, did you say that one? Or the Umbrellas and turtles have sold out on their own. So only, how many bundles have we got left? Say seven. Seven people can now get this because we have no more of that in stock and we've got no more of that one in stock. I'll just show you the different fabrics. I'll get them out for you. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised it's sold out. That umbrella, that parasol one's lovely. Then the turtle one has also sold out, but I'll go still. I'll still prefer it with me laying them out there. Because they're all, they're all, they've made them look like they're different sizes and they're not. I'll just do this for you again. So there you go. So you get half meter, half meter, half meter. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That one's half meter as well. And then this one, is this one a panel then, this last one? There you go. You get all five of those. £43.94. Beach bound retro camper bundle. So we, one of them is a panel. Hang on, which one's the panel then? That's got beach bound written on it. Oh no, I haven't got a panel. The panel's not here. No, I've, uh, it says one panel and two. Yeah, so I've only got five fabrics. There's a panel missing. You will get the panel. Let's look at the picture again. Sorry. Right, so hang on. There's the panel. So there's the five fabrics I've got, but I haven't got the panel. It's not that little. Oh, who unpacked this, bo this one? Who un unpacked this one? Name and shame. Elliot. Elliot unpacked this one. That's all right then. Yeah. Anyway, isn't that... Oh, sorry about that. So when you pack that one up, Emma, before you take uh, 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 Hannah to the outpatients, you'll I'm not coming anymore. I don't need it to go anymore. £43.94, you get two and a half metres of fabric plus a panel. I do apologise, I have no panel to show you. No, no, I presumed one of those was the panel, but then I read it, you see. So it's a panel plus two and a half metres of fabric. There's only four left and you do get the panel. Okay. Now... I'm not quite sure what's going on here. So um, on um, this week, Susie Duncan did a geofed. You, you must have the picture of the. the oh, it doesn't matter anyway. Do I? No, 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 no. Because I've got the geofetti quilt in the two blues on over the birthday weekend. So these are just what fabrics are left over. That now I'm surprised you've got this though. I was going to say right. So I've only got. So it's not a bundle. These are just individual fabrics, right? So these are four fabrics which I absolutely adored. We'll do the triangles first. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? So this is 749, this is triangular tessellation on white. We did have this in blue as well, but that sold out. It's lovely, let me just straighten up, there you go. That's taking me back to something in childhood now, that is. Not sure what. Anyway, £7.49 pence for half a metre. So 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable. Lovely. Then, oh, these are just beautiful, these fabrics. No, we haven't got much time. We haven't got much time left. Looky, look, look. This one's called, now, don't get these confused. This one's called Windows. Oh, actually, I haven't got the other one here. So there was another one that looked identical to it, and it was called stained glass windows. That one's about to sell out. Now I've got the ones that looks like beads, which had another strange name, I seem to remember. Blue decor, that's right, blue decor. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? 
Oh, very popular. Very, very popular. Okay. And then last but not least in this range, maybe a kaleidoscope. I'm not quite sure what it reminds me of. This is lovely, this one, look. The Who? Oh, the big friendly giant kept things in jars. Dreams, dreams in jars. Oh, how lovely. I've never seen the BFG either, but uh, Hannah's was definitely ghosts. Don't you mean the um, rent a ghost, that one? Okay. Right, very quickly, before I go anywhere, um, we launched these yesterday. We shouldn't have done because uh, they were supposed to be for the birthday weekend, but we thought, why not? They're here. Let's show you. Okay, the John Scott Collection. Yes, I have done a collaboration with Orophil. They are all 50 weight. You get 1,300 metres on each spool. These are the colours you get. Oh, I can show you the colours you get. Right, so you get Dove and you get Light Sand for your piecing. Then you get Light Peony because I adore peonies. Then you get Light Wedgwood because I love that blue. Then you get Light Fern because I adore Fern Britain. And then you get Lemon because I just love lemons. Uh, I just think that colour range is exquisite, even though I say so myself. £47.99. Each box is signed. Uh, Margaret says, morning job. Missed some of this morning's show. Had to pick new glasses up and catch up later. Oh, Margaret. Lovely. Somebody else had new glasses this week as well, didn't they? Who was it? Anyway. Again. £47.99. The John Scott Collection from Orophil. Now, also, I know what you're thinking. £47.99. Oh, that's a bit considered purchase for threads. Actually works out at 61p per 100 metres. 61p for 100 metres of thread. That's how much it works out at. They're all signed. Meant to be for the weekend. But we all introduced them yesterday, so we thought we'd show them again today. They won't be seen on tomorrow's show. I've got a day off tomorrow. Day off tomorrow. Right. Uh, don't go anywhere. Sally Ann's coming up. Now, she, she's done a column of the quilt. It's from a brand new book, right? I love the way it goes through the different colours. It's called the Stash Buster, but you need eight and a half metres to make the big quilt. Anyway, we will be showing you, Sally Ann's going to be showing you uh, a block from that in the next hour. We will see you go nowhere. It's my birthday and we're having a whole weekend of celebrations. I know, we've got new guests, we've got brand new projects, we've got uh, giveaways, fabulous birthday giveaways for everybody who shops. Join us on Saturday, June the 19th and Sunday, June the 20th to join in the celebrations. Uh, you can find us on Sky 670, Freeview 72, YouTube and our very own Facebook page. I'll see you there. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harbour. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking, um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and oh you name it I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron but I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project so 
I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance so I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Tune into Sewing Street this week for amazing early bird deals. We have two each day from Monday the 14th to Friday the 18th of June with new early bird deals and we're bringing back some of your favourite deals too. Watch from 8am to 1pm on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube or our Facebook Live. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page gone all sniffy suddenly about that now i've got the most fabulous new book it's called fantastic stash quilts but what it is it's eight projects but two ways of using yardage or scraps so they she basically describes uh, the way you can make it if you go and buy the fabric which is like we have today you need eight and a half meters to do the one we're doing or how you can create the same effect but using scraps from your uh, from, not from your wardrobe from your stash really uh, now look at the price of the book right it's $12.99. It's brand new today, right? It's not a Debbie Shaw or anything like that. So why are we charging $12.99 when it, the manufacturer says $15.99? I love these. Love the Oh! There you go. $15.99, look. And it's available on the Long River today at... Uh, oh, $15.66. 1566 it's available today on the Long River and ours is 12.99. You've already started checking out and haven't even turned a page. Um, it is a beautiful, well just, uh, Hannah just went, looked at that one on the back and just went, oh yeah, this one's called Confetti, that one there. Isn't it beautiful? Right, let me take you through because there's only eight projects in here. I'll just take you through it. Eight, I know, but it's brilliant. So eight, that's one pound fifty, isn't it? Or something like that, a pattern. One pound fifty a pattern. So there you are. There are all the different quilts that they're in the book. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the one we're doing today. L how much? 162 a project, wasn't far off, was that? So this is called Betsy's Quilt, right? The finished quilt is 64 and a half by 64 and a half inches. That's really lovely and clever, isn't it? Anyway, so she takes you through it's so simple look you need three quarters of a yard of your pink half a yard of your purple you know what i mean so you could use any fabrics that you wanted beautiful isn't it and then you've got all the quilt construction quilting and finishing and then that her, this one here is made of scraps you see what i mean so that one there is how you'd make it in fabric that you'd bought or you know have. Then this one here is when you get all your scrap reds, your scrap greens, your scrap purples. 
No, they're not scrappy, because what did I just say? That was 64 and a half by 64 and a half inches, that one. Each unit is only four inches square, though. So all of those are just four inch squares. So you could use lots of your scraps up in that one. Then, of course, you've got your spinning triangles. Yeah, beautiful. Look like some traditional colours. Um, oh, there you go. She's just... Yeah, that's the old-fashioned spinning triangles. Okay, then we've got the one we're doing today, chain and bar. Um, as you see, Sally Ann has done one... Because we asked Sally Ann to do one row, and she, if she did that, you wouldn't get to see... So she decides to do one column for us today. And if you look, that column and that column are the same, and then that column and that column are the same. So she's going to do one of the blocks from this column today. But again, it tells you how much you have to buy of each of the fabrics, then the construction, then the blocks, which is what we're going to go through today. And then this one here is they're saying you can do it with, for Christmas in your reds and your greens there. And then we're moving on to the confetti quilt. I mean, that one looks like a scrap one already, doesn't it? A scrappy one already. Oh, actually, I think that, that one is just a scrappy quilt look. Yeah, the 30s playtime would look lovely in there, wouldn't it? Then, of course, and then there you go. That's it if you did it all in blue. Oh, my word. Look at that one. What's up? 51 and 51 and a half inch finish. So that's got two patterns within one pattern. You know, like there's two. That's incredible. Right, you hope? Well, it is, isn't it? If you think about it, you've got you've got your your medallions in your different colours, but then you've got all those arrows going in all different ways. Oh yeah, watch on Monday. Oh, is it Monday we're doing it? We're doing the design wall again on Monday. Optical illusion. Oh, look though, it's in black and white. Wow. Nice, isn't it? Okay, then we're moving on to snowbirds. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, and then look, in different colourway. College bound. Leaving, you see, taking their heart with you. you. Leave their heart, but they go off to university. Leave you with an empty nest, <laughs> Hannah. Uh, spending your money. Safe travels, that one's called. Oh, oh, hang on. How? That can't be the same one, surely. Is that just the same block twisted, do you think? Hang on. They, that, is that the same thing? Fantastic, isn't it? And then we're on to wishing rings. And then all the techniques are in the back. Binding, bulky seams, quarter square triangles. Brand spanking new book. It's lovely. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, more affordable. We're more affordable than the price of the actual book. Oh, message from Jan quickly. Morning, John. Big wave, Sally Ann. Oh, yeah, she's oh. waving. She's waving. Hang on. Oh, hang on. There she is. Uh, can't stop to watch Dogs to Walk. I'll okay. listen with you in my pocket, says Jan in Lancashire. Jan! That Jan, Jan? Jan, Jan. That is Jan. Jan, Jan. right, Jan. You know what you, uh, I can't, um, you know you tagged me yesterday. Well, it's happening. It's happening. I'm just, I've got to be, but it's happening. No, it's not that me and Hannah are getting married. <laughs> right, now we have got two bundles for you today. The first one is the bundle that um, is on the wall that Sally Ann has made for us already. Obviously, you've got enough to make the whole of the front of the quilt and the binding. Uh, the fabrics in this are beautiful. So you get two metres of your, like, um, I don't want to say hornets, what are they call called? Dragonflies. Dragonflies in the red. Hmm? I've never seen this before. Beautiful. So you get two metres of that. You get two metres of your cream or your ivory. Then you get one and a half metres of your navy. One and a half metres of your dragonflies on blue. <clears throat> and then you get one and a half metres now. Yesterday, remember we had the daffodil and it had a border and I said, I've never seen that fabric before. It was the yellow version of this look. Do you remember yesterday when we did the border? The yellow, it was a yellow version of that one. 
So, uh, so you've got eight and a half metres of fabric here. Obviously, it doesn't include the book. For £93.99. pence. Now, you may want that as a bundle to make something else. Like a bar, one of, half of a bar yellow or something like that. would be beautiful, wouldn't it? But I've never seen <clears throat> the dragonfly fabric before in the blue. Oh, well, I've not seen those three fabrics before. I'll tell you what it is. It is Flowers in the Wind, Danish design, 100% cotton. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? So you get a, a metre and a half of the blue and you get two metres of the red. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's delicious, isn't it? And then one and a half metres of your pink. Comes from the same range, looks the same tree in the background, same range. And then you also get your um, cream and your navy. So that whole bundle there, eight and a half metres, for <clears throat> that's 93 pounds and 99 pence is to do that quilt with. And that's what you can see Sally demonstrating in as well as Sally made at home. Then the other bundle, now Sally said this and went, oh, New York, New York loft. So I can see that in a New York loft. I couldn't say that for some reason, <laughs> could I? New like a tongue York twister. loft. Right, so you get two metres of your ivory. You get two metres of your yellow splodge. You get one and a half metres of your dark grey, one and a half metres of your pale grey, one and a half metres of your grey splodge. Eight and a half metres again, 61.99. These three are your um, Rose and Hubble, and I think these two are your John Loudons. Yep, there you go. Beautiful. 61.99. That's called Mustard Chain and Bar. That's a lot of fabric for 61 99 isn't it? Even if you're not going to make this quilt, just having your stash, that's lovely. Or the grey, well, this is very on trend, isn't it, the grey? But then that splash of yellow is going to make it quite dramatic. And you always need two metres of cream in your stash, don't you? Right, so, sally Ann, is it difficult? No, it's not difficult. Right. And it's quite sort of exciting the way that it goes together, because it is... I've never seen anything quite like this. No. Not so many different techniques in one block. So if we can, can we yeah, sort of like home you. in a bit? So here is the block that we're going to make. So the whole quilt is made of one block. So if you can see, there's half square triangle units, four of them. Yeah. And then there's six flying geese units. Right. And then what they call quarter square triangle units, units, which I tend to call an hourglass unit yes, in the middle. Yeah. And then just a couple of bar units. So they're all the same? Yeah. So it's the way that you place the fabrics that makes them look different then? Yeah, the sort of fabric sort of gradients, it sort of goes down, doesn't it? it one one colour melts into the next yeah, yeah, as you yeah, go yeah. down. But just the fact that of the colour, the way they've placed the colours, and obviously twisted them, yeah. makes it look completely different. It does. It? It's, it's amazing, isn't it? You know? Yeah. But I do love the way it goes from the pink to the dark red, to the pale blue, to the dark blue. Just That's really, really lovely, the way it ombres through the colours. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's really good. So, as you said earlier, this is a column of yes. the quilt, not a row. Because yeah. if I did a row, you'd just have a row of lots of pink ones and you wouldn't see the see sort the of, the, almost the way the colour sort of drains down. It's lovely. We'll just have a look at the picture that Emma took earlier, because we can see the whole thing there. One, two, three. There's another block on the bottom of there, yeah. I don't know if Hannah got my other picture. Oh, what? Well, see which one's that? No. Let's have a look. Oh, are you there on your own? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're just going to find it for you. Hannah's just okay. had to leave the gallery. So, right, there you go. Yeah, initially, when I made the column, I thought that all the columns in the quilt are the same. Right. But they're not. So oh, what, I, what I did is I put it into a tool called layout and yeah. I just repeated it all the way across. But I mean, this is something that you could do if you wanted to have it. Oh, that I way quite around. like it like that. Yeah. <clears throat> so what you're saying is you've taken the, the column that you've made and you've just replicated it. Repeated it four, it four times. times, yeah. But in the book, They've the, the first and the third one are like yours, yep. and then the second one and the fourth one are slightly, slightly different. Slightly yeah. different. The same block, yeah. but they've just moved it round. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, no, I quite like it the way you've done it. Yeah. So it's interesting, isn't it, how you can 
like you were saying about the you know design walls. This is the sort of thing you could put on a design wall and see it begin to build. Yeah, you know? and you could orientate. You could when you don't have to follow the book, you could play with it. No, exactly. Twist it round, mm. etc. Yeah. So, so she obviously tells you how many of each block. Yeah. So to make the shoe. Yeah. There's a complete. Oh, hang on, just Emma, just Emma, look that. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. So she gives you a complete breakdown. And in the back of the book, she actually shows you the sewing techniques for the half square triangles oh, yeah, yeah, and the yeah, quarter yeah. square triangles. And she also shows you for the flying geese units. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so every, everything you need is in there, really, isn't it? Yes. So I'm going to start off with the half square triangle units, and I'm going to make them, as she says in the book, just right. using a pencil that's an all okay, straightforward so you're, method. You're saying it like that because on your website you've got something, what's it called? So my website's called sallyannquilts.com yeah. and on there is something called demystifying half square triangle units right. and you can go in there and there's four or five, I can't remember, four or five different ways of making the half square I'll triangle, triangle units. So you don't, if, you don't, if, you're not, if you're not comfortable making them like they're in the book you can make them your yeah. way. You can make them my way or or if you want looking for something more advanced, like I looked at this, and if you look, there's like four, eight, sorry, eight half square triangle units that are identical. Yeah. And in my cheat sheet on my website, there's a way of making eight in one go. Oh, so is that, that the one where you put two fabrics together and you draw a cross and yeah. a cross and a cross and a cross? Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you could make those all eight, eight of them in, in one go. go. Yeah. So that would be and a no way. wastage. There's yeah. no wastage that way exactly. at all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. what... We're going to follow the book later. Okay, to start no, off no, with. no, no. We'll, we, so we can follow the book today, but if you want to see Sally Ann's cheat, just go to our website, Sally Ann Quilts. Yeah, it's free. You, you have to actually sort of put in, but it comes up zero pounds, zero pounds. Yeah, yeah, totally yeah. Free. Perfect. Okay. okay. Right. right. So, so you're starting with the half square triangle. Yes. Did you say half square triangles? Yeah? Yes. Okay. So I'm starting with the half square triangles. Let's go back to the book one more time so you can see. So, can we? So I'm going to make those two and those two. Okay. Um, but I'm actually going to, sorry, I'm going to focus on this row. So oh, okay. this one. Oh, okay. Camera went a bit focusing. Yeah. So, so yeah. Can you just turn back to the page with it finished on? Because just so you can see, remember Sally Ann did the layout for you where all four blocks were the same. That's the way that the designer has decided to do them. You see one and, one and three are the same yeah, as one. two and four. Can you see one? There's one, yeah. three, two and four. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it looks completely different again, doesn't it? Because yours definitely had stripes going across it when you did your yeah. layout, but that one's a bit more kind of making other shapes within the shape, doesn't it? it I never really, there it is, that's one Sally Ann. So if you did all of them like Sally Ann's, that's the finished quilt you'd have. Yeah. But I, I'm still amazed that you can take squares and triangles of fabrics and just by the way you lay them out, it can make completely different shapes. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just. That's the same block, and just your two different ways of giving you two completely different patterns, haven't they? Yeah, there's lots of options. I'm yeah. just looking at this now and thinking you could, you could because it's four by four. You could also sort of put it on the diagonal because you could have four, like the four pink ones, oh, across yes. sort of going on the diagonal and build from the diagonals yeah. instead. So oh, it, that'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. So effectively, you'd be doing your colour bleed from the diagonal yeah. by the side. That, well, that would work. That sounds even nicer, doesn't yeah. it? Anyway, I'm getting carried away. Yeah, anyway, go on <laughs> with your job, woman. Okay, get on with the job. <coughs> right, so, <coughs> I've cut them as per the instructions, uh -huh. and I've just drawn a pencil line across, so they're right sides together, the cream and the pink. Have we got them the right way around this time? I hope so. <laughs> right. So, what you're doing, drawing the line straight across the middle. Yeah, so you want to angle your pencil so that you don't create too much drag. Yeah. yeah I'm just going to put some pins in it. And also, she gives you two lots of cutting directions as well in the book. Yeah. Um, so, this is the way where there's less wastage, but she gives you um, the cutting directions where there's a little bit more wastage and you sh and you square up afterwards. Oh, oh so, right. Okay. So, so if you're a new start, if you're a new beginner, don't worry. If you cut the bigger sizes, yeah. don't worry if you're a little bit off because you're going to square them up and take a little yeah. bit off afterwards. Yeah. Saying that even with these, we're going to do a little bit of squaring up, yeah, so, but, but only less. a tiny bit, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to sew a quarter of an inch away from that pencil line. Okay, so you've drawn a line down the middle, yep. and you're going to sew a quarter of an inch either side yep. of that line. <clears throat> I'm going to take my stitch length up to about 2.4. 
But one of the things that I always forget to say, which I should have said at the beginning, is do start your fabric. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we're out of best press at the moment. Let's put this one in. Also, are, are all the pieces quite big in this? Yes. So really good a for a beginner inch. that you're not that you're not doing any yeah. little fiddly fiddly bits because they're quite nice sizes to be working with, aren't they? Yeah, it's a 16 inch yeah. finished block. So. And did you have your nails done to match the colour of the fabric? <laughs> no. <laughs> so what did you think of the sewing bee? Oh, now be careful. Oh. We can talk about it, but we can't say who's won. <gasps> Or, or if you're if you're if you haven't watched it last night, turn your volume down. Don't switch the telly off. Just don't lip read. Right? I'm just giving you warning now. We are going to be talking about the sewing bee now. <laughs> so do not do not if you haven't watched it yet, turn the volume down. Still buy your book and still buy your stash, and you can watch this later if you want to hear what Sally had saying about the making of it. Just to give you warning, um, I thought it was a bit. I thought it was obvious, but I thought the right person. I can't say who won, but I thought the right person won. Yeah. What did you yeah. think? She had the most... <laughs> that person had the most technical skill. <coughs> yes, yes, totally. But saying that, um, the other per one of the other people did have... You could see that he, that, that person had flair. Yes, yes. <laughs> so oh, it's fine. We'll talk. We're going to talk about... I've told you to turn your thing down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, no, no. But then he, he works in the film industry. I mean, he's on the new Marvel film at the moment. He works in the costume department yeah. doing all fab, um, dyeing and printing and all that sort of stuff. So he's a fa good a fabric technician. So, yeah, he had what you call, like, inbuilt, innate design, didn't yes. he? Yes. His, desi uh, his designs were very, very good. And he just had the... Uh, didn't have the wherewithal sometimes to actually because I could see where he was going with his final dress yesterday. Yeah. But it's that thing where you imagine something in your brain or on a piece of paper, but when you actually make it in 3D, it doesn't look exactly like you imagine it's going to look when you make it up. Yeah. Okay, so all I've done is sewn either side of the pencil line and cuts apart on the pencil line. And I'm just going to set the. Uh huh. <clears throat> so if you want to. Iron with the darker one on top, so when you flip it back, you always press then to the darker side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, someone sent me um, a thing yesterday on Facebook. There's a job going on next year's sewing bee, and it's like the sewing technician or the sewing producer or whatever. And uh, I know it's all you know, about what you have to do and what you... Look on my Facebook page if you want to have a see about the job. It's on, it follows on from the strand of my Facebook chat at four o'clock this afternoon. Oh, Yvonne's messaged in. Morning. Oh, she's really enjoying the show, but... But? We're not allowed to talk about the same thing. Oh, I, oh yes. Uh, Yvonne, all you need to do is ring the customer service team and that we can't, we can't do that sort of thing from here. She's accidentally ordered two books and Jenny wanted one. <sighs> Just go ring the call centre. They can sort it all before midnight tonight. They can sort it out for you. It's a free phone line. They're just around the corner and they'll sort it out for you. We, we can tell you all about it, but we can't physically get into anyone's account. We're not allowed to. We're not allowed to. It's GPDPQR, that thing, you know. <laughs> cool. Right. So I'm just going to trim them because there's only like an eighth, just very slightly. Uh huh. So. Can you see, I've got a square ruler. Yeah. And what I'm doing is I'm putting the diagonal across the diagonal of the block. I'm just going to square it up. Brilliant. But there's only a very little bit to come off. Max said, so true, John. I absolutely love the series. The winner was well deserved. Uh, I love your shirt. I don't know if this is Max a boy or Max a girl. I can't see. Uh, love your shirt, especially the orange inner detailing. Oh, on my collar up here. <laughs> I like the fairy dust comment. Do what, say? The fairy dust. Oh, yes, yes, yes that was, that was nice. a nice thing to say, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, yeah. It's true, though, some people, when I was at college, there was a girl called Lynn 
who I adored and I still do to this day. And when she'd finished making a costume, you would not know that human had to touch that fabric. The fabric was so pristine. You look at mine, be sweaty paw prints all <laughs> over it and the holes and it would stink of cigarette smoke because I used to smoke in those days. And hers would just be immaculate. And every Friday, after the lectures on a Friday, she would make a frock for herself to go out with her boyfriend, John, that night. She'd make, and it would be like a confection of like chiffons and things like that. It was just so beautifully made. But she was like Serena, she had that gift of being able to sew perfectly. June, I'm not sure if it's the job that CL used to do that's going, because I'm not sure if they have that job anymore. But um, it's it's basically a, um, it's on my, I, I didn't even read it. I just, it, people say maybe you should do it, John. I don't want to do it. And what? So how many of those? You've made two of those, have you? I've made four, four of those. Four together. Of those, sorry, yeah. See, in some ways, it is easier to cut it, as I said, cut it bigger than that, than you're going to actually need it, and trim <coughs> off a chunk that is a little bit more chunky, if that makes sense. Yeah. You see what I mean? It's yeah, easier yeah, yeah. than getting mm -hmm. these really fine pieces. Max is a boy, he's 56 today, fellow Gemini. So what it says. And then Susan thinks that job would be very stressful. And this one's not, Susan. <laughs> it's a joy. It's a joy. I think I need my step back. Goodness knows what happened to that step. What, what? My step. Oh, yeah. Oh, wasn't that a different studio? Yeah. I should have. I should have claimed it, shouldn't I? Yes. <laughs> I'm sort of standing on tiptoes here. I've got... Oh, yes. Actually, we might need to think about that because Elliot's redesigning the set for us at the moment. And I was like, oh, make sure your tables are higher. Because very soon, Higher. well, yeah, that's because very <laughs> soon I'm going to be standing out. Like, remember in the old days when I would be standing next to you? Of course, that'll come back, won't it? Won't be sitting here separated. So I, the yeah. table can't be that low oh, for me. You're coming over here. Well, you remember in the old yeah, days? Yeah. You, um, when you, are you coming over? Not today. Oh. No, not today. When the pandemic's over. Okay, so. That message from Anne. Morning, Anne. It says, John, how will I know when you finish discussing? Finished. Finished. <laughs> Good point. Okay, so we can do this. Wait. Okay. No, Max, I, did, I read yours out as you. He says, my name's not Susan. No, no, I was reading Susan's message, which is above yours. Uh, June says, it might be, this might be stressful, but you love this job, <laughs> job John. Uh, yes. <laughs> right, what are you doing now then? Okay, so I'm going to make the hourglass or the, what does it oh, they the call one it? in the middle, yeah. The quarter square triangles. Yeah. And basically what you do is you make a half square triangle, a pair of them and put them together. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So again, I'm just going to draw across. Yeah. And all the sizes are in the pattern. Have you written hourglass on there? Yeah. I thought my eyes were playing up then. I was nope. thinking, oh, I can see the words she's just said. <laughs> so I didn't confuse them. Yes. Okay. So again, quarter an inch away from the pencil line. Uh huh. me now Max he was thinking of the Whitney Houston song does she have a song called my name's not Susan I thought it was my name is Stacy isn't it her name is Stacy anyway I'm lost Max but anyway we're carrying on with the quilting Stacy <laughs> we used to work with a girl called Stacy in the early days of Roxy Co. we used to sing that song what is it what's this that's not my name my name is Stacy something like that <laughs> anyway it's lost it's lost on Hannah 
Right, so you've done two half yep. square triangles. Oh. Yep. Let's move this back in. Yeah. I'm not the tidiest, am I? No. No, but other people are much more tidy. No, we've had a right messy week this week, I can't <laughs> tell you. Okay, so just set the seam. And then iron it towards the darker one. Same again. Okay. Okay, okay no. so now we're going to do the same again. So I'm going to put this one right sides to this one. Okay. And you can almost feel the seams clip on top of each other. But don't put the blue on the blue. No. The blue goes on the white and the white goes on the blue. Yes, because yeah. and you can check it because if you sort of line these up roughly, you can see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If we just pull it down, you can uh -huh. see how you're going to make that hourglass. Perfect. So, one on top of the other. You want to sort of feel for that seam. Half the stock of the book is gone already. Only halfway through the hour. Okay. Yeah, That's right it, sides together, yep. Low. You're yep. putting right sides together, aren't you? Yep. Right sides together, but you're making sure that the blue goes on the white and the white goes on the blue. Yep. And says, I believe everyone would love you to have you involved with the sewing bee in some way. And yeah, I just like talking about it the next day. And... Uh, what is a triple sewing foot on a machine? Oh, triple sewing? I've got no idea. Unless the, some machines do triple needles, don't they? What machine have you got? So you've done exactly the same, same thing again. then. You've drawn a line down the middle. Yep. And just going quarter an inch either side yep. of that. Okay. Cut it. I'm going to cut it apart on the pencil line. Uh -huh. We should have two. Oh, so you make, you've made two, yeah. but you only need one in the block, block don't you? Yes. But I suppose that one comes up in the repeat of that later on. Yeah. Brilliant. So we're just going to set the seam and then... So I'm just put it, putting it to one side, but you can, I mean, you can do all sorts of things. And she talks in the back about clipping seams, which is a way of sort of distributing bumpy seams. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not going to do that here. I tend to do that with smaller quilts anyway than this. Uh-huh. Okay. Then we need to trim this one as well. The the foot that's on the machine at the moment, Max, is a quarter inch foot. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a quarter inch foot, so it, it's got a guide to, to show you where the quarter inch is and then you're stitching exactly a quarter of an inch from the edge. Okay. So trip Trimming this, uh -huh. sometimes people get confused. Right. So I want to trim this to four and a half inches. Right. So I've got, first of all, I've got my diagonal on one of the diagonals mm -hmm. in the Arab glass block. And you need to bring it down to the point, which is two and a quarter. Does that sort of make sense? Yeah. Which is half of your four and a half inch finish. Okay. Well, four and a half raw edge block. Yeah. Yeah? Following me? So I'm just going to square that from there. I should have got my rotating mat, shouldn't I? Oh, yeah, we've got rotating. Oh, I don't know if we have got them on the website at the moment. There was a big rush on them after Susie's show the other day, wasn't there? Oh, the back in stock. Rotating cutting mats are back in stock. There it is. If you want to get one. That one's basically, we've got a mat on top of a mat. And rather than move your, you don't move the fabric at all, you can just move the rotating. And when you press down on it to cut, it fixes it so it doesn't move. There it is. 
So we've got okay, let's have a little... half square triangles and we've got a quarter square, or what did you call yep. it, sorry, pin, uh, hourglass, hourglass, units. hourglass. Okay, let's just see how far we've got so we can just begin to mock it up. Right. So I can sh be sure I'm going in the right direction with this. So yeah. this one is going to be this way. This one is going to be this way. Right. This one this way, this one this way, and then five units going to here. And the hourglass will go in here. Yeah. Okay, so here you go. You can see. Where we're going now. Okay. Okay, so we're going to make the flying geese units now that go in here. Which Brilliant. Is the final part. Before you do that, I just need to recap because okay. the book and the bundles are flying out. The book, twelve ninety nine, should be more expensive. Should be fifteen ninety nine. Um, it's a brand new book trust today, and it's lovely. Eight projects, two different ways to do the projects. Half the stock has gone. Betsy's quilt. I'm just whizzing through it, spinning triangles. Ooh. Chain and bar, which is the one we're doing. I don't think that drawing does it um, does it any favours, I think, because it's so much more beautiful than that. There's all the instructions. Sally Ann's doing that, Christmas version. Then we've got the confetti quilt there. Then we've got the confetti in blue. Then you've got the what's up. And you've got that in black and white. Then you've got the snowbirds. And then you've got the safe travels and you've got your wishing rings. All the instructions, everything you need to know, very, very thorough. And then in <coughs> the back there, we've got all your quilt making techniques, from your half square triangles to your quarter square triangles, to your binding, all sorts of things like that. 12 pounds and 99 pence. I have two bundles available today, the one that Sally Ann is working with, and which you get two meters of cream. This one is the most popular. You get two meters of your red, um, not hummingbird, dragonfly. You get one and a half meters of your blue dragonfly. You get one and a half meters of your pink, that like confetti. And one, and now is that one and a half or two of the blue? One, two, three, four. No, one and a half of your blue. One of your 93 pounds and 99 pence for that bundle. Or if you want this one, which is a more kind of on-trend New York loft apartment look, you get two metres of your white, you get two metres of your yellow splodge, you get a metre and a half of your mid-grey, metre and a half of your soft grey, and a metre and a half of your grey splodge. There you go. That's £61.99. pence. Lovely. Back to Sally Ann. Okay. So we're going to move on and we're going to make the flying geese units. Yep. And we're going to make them exactly as they say in the book. So we're yep. going to make four in one go. Right. And they give you all the dimensions. Okay, now have you got on your website, have you got a secret to... No, not oh. no secrets to flying geese. Honestly. <laughs> okay, so I've got the two squares, I've got them right sides together. Okay, so hang on, you've got one big square of the background yep. and two small right side squares up. of the cream. Yep. Yep. And I'm just going to draw a pencil line across the whole oh, okay. thing. Put some pins in, stop it moving around. We're going to do exactly the same, either side, so either side of the line. So you've just got them overlaid, the two yep. little squares overlay each other. Yep, don't panic about that, that's no. what they're meant to do. Okay, and you've drawn a line from corner to corner. Yep, diagonal. And are you going to sew quarter inch either side again on that one? Yep. Perfect. Okay. Trying to keep my there because it will get bumpy in the middle right either side of the line mm -hmm. yes. there we go. I'm going to 
lift it a little bit in the middle to make sure it stays on. The other side as well. Again, we're going to cut it right. on that pencil line. Right, you have. Yes. I've tied yeah. it up so much, I've tied everything <laughs> away. <laughs> yeah, don't be leaving that behind. Great. Little press. going to set it yeah. and then push them back that way. Set the other one. Okay, it's not looking like a flying geese yet, is it? No. another two exactly the same size squares yeah and put them right on that corner okay so it fits on that right hang angle corner but yep. it overlaps again at the top yep yeah i think a lot of people would look at that and think oh it doesn't fit it's not fitting yeah it's wrong no it's not wrong let's say the other one And she tells you all the sizes cut out in the yep. book, doesn't she? She yeah. gives you all that information. And she tells you how to, specifically with the, the flying geese units, she cuts it sort of like about half an inch bigger and she gives you the background square and also the new size squares that you need to put in, if that oh, makes right. sense. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So she yeah. gives you the complete thing. So again, I'm okay, going to... Okay, so you're drawing the line again? Put, yeah. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, quarter of an inch away from the pencil line. Mm -hmm. Very calming this today, isn't it? It's lovely. Okay. Okay. Yep. Again, cut it on the pencil line. set it and then iron it away and there are your um, flying geese units. Okay. So 
And so you make four and go. But you, what you've got to do is you've got to make different colours for the block, haven't you? Yeah. Like you've made four blue and white ones, but you need a pink and white one, a red and white one, and a blue and white one. Here's some I made oh, earlier. I have some made earlier. <laughs> okay. So here's some that I've made earlier in the different colours. Right. So I just need to finish off sewing down the lines yep. of these two. Okay, perfect. And then we should have all the colours that we need. That's the theory anyway. Same thing again, I'm just cutting them apart on the pencil uh -huh. line. If you're making the whole quilt, would you make all of the pink ones enough for the whole quilt? On all the I would, ones? yeah. So you've got all your ingredients yeah, ready to ready then. to go, yeah. ready to rumble. Okay. So there's Ant and Deck over there. Those new fabrics are lovely, aren't they? Okay. Right. No. Do they need squaring off as well? Do you square those off? Nope, they're well? perfect. Okay. They're ready to go. Um, what I would do though, if I was at home, I'd cut all of these off, but I'm just going to cut the top ones off yeah, yeah, yeah. because they always, always seem to come back and bite you if you don't cut them off. <laughs> they get caught or they get twisted. Oh. My house is covered in these little pieces. Yeah, I can imagine. make the units in the book we need so there's a pink a red well, yeah, they go in different orders yeah. on each block don't they and a blue yep and a pink a red and a blue so i'm going to join together to make you just see here can you see where Mm -hmm. those together. These are the ones, so in sets of three. Okay. So I'm going to sew those together. So now do you, do you always sew it with the uh, triangle on the top you know you've got the, the triangle of color on the top there yeah so you can go through the apex then yeah yeah Let's make sure i don't take it out of the order it's meant to be in there you go yeah because then you can see the apex yeah Again, you could play with it, couldn't you? And if you wanted to, oh, you, you could, could put all of your pink ones in one cross and all of your mid blue ones in another one, all your dark blue ones in another if you wanted yep. to.
Okay, Sam, I know some funny questions. Is Wimbledon happening this year? Is Wimbledon happening this year? I don't know. I saw. It's usually around my birthday, and I'm like, I haven't seen anything about it on the I'm TV. I'm sure I saw Queens was on the TV. Oh, the, is that the, the French, French one? one? Yeah. Oh. Oh no, because Yvonne McAdamney, she was saying last week, she, is that the one that goes on at Roland Garros? There's one that goes on at Roland Garros, and she said she's not leaving her telly. She had a vodka and a Roland Garros and a nibbles, and she was just gonna wasn't gonna move from the <laughs> telly. Right, I'm just gonna give these a little bit of a press and let them go the way. Uh huh. There we go. Right. Okay. Put them back in the. Block, you know. Yeah, you laid that block out early, now you've put it all the way. Yeah, hopefully. She says. Uh, uh. Right. That one. This one. This one. This one. Mm hmm. Okay, make sure we've got it round the right way. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Fabulous. So now it's just a question of joining the rows. So I'm going to join that row, that row, that okay. row, and then join them together. Lovely. So is these just, it ends up as being nine, one, two, three, yeah, nine pieces just so together. So three, th three rows of three, really, isn't it? And there's no sashing. So when you make the quilt quilt, they just do the columns just join together. There's no sashing between the quilt. No, there's nothing between them. So I'm going to have to cut these off. They will annoy me no end. So I'm just taking off the dog ears. Mm? So I'm just taking off the dog ears because oh, yes, 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 yeah. they just get to me. Because you can't really see where you're going. I wonder which fabric we've allocated as the border, as the binding, sorry. I wonder if it must be the red, the dark red um, dragonflies, maybe. Oh, actually, I can read one of Oh, no, if she's got the play, the pl in her, she's got the, pl oh, yeah, the dark red, the dark red. She's got the dark red, includes the binding. full of uh, wonderful tips in here as well. So do sit and read the whole, the whole thing before you start, because she talks about making the flying geese, about chain sewing, about the, the assembly, everything like that. I like what she was saying in there about um, stash busting, and it sounds like she's got an incredibly huge stash. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm bad if I buy sort of like three metres of fabric. She's talking about I go into a shop and buy a bolt. Oh. No. <laughs> no. I wouldn't have room to keep it. I wonder how big her workroom is then. Let me have a quick read about her. Her love affair with sewing began when she was four years old. She told, she, she told her mother she knew why the sewing machine was called a singer because it hummed. Teaching for more than 15 years, designing quilt patterns for as nearly as long. It's her second book. Well, she's got a blog as well. Quilter Chick Designs is called. Quilter Chick? Quilter Chick. Excuse me. <laughs> I am in total awe of Sally and skill. Every piece is perfect. Every point correct. Oh, to have her gift. And oh. she writes poetry because she's also Pam Ayres on a day <laughs> In her spare time, she's Pam Ayres. 
I wouldn't go that far. See, <laughs> you, you don't see me when I'm at home and I'm sort of like throwing it out the window and stamping on it. Yeah, but you've also got your loud music playing as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, Roland Garros finished at the weekend. Queen's is on now and Wimbledon in about 10 days' time with lots of Covid rules. Well, I should hope so too, Maureen in Derbyshire. Oh, OK. In 10 days, because it always used to be when I was on, on my birthday. I thought the men's final was usually on my birthday. Obviously not. Yeah, maybe my memory's just gone. <laughs> maybe your memory's just gone. Being so old. No, I, my son was, um, his birthday's the 27th of June, and uh -huh. when I had him, I can remember being in hospital and the, the, the Wimbledon being on then. Oh, maybe so I've got it wrong So a bit then. later. Maybe it starts on my birthday. When does it, when it out? 10 days? Oh, no, it's actually, maybe they've moved it. How old's your son? Uh, he'll be 29 this year. Oh, so it's not that old. Getting, I think he was 15 or something. <laughs> yeah, that's one of them. The other one's 24. Still both quite old. Old yeah. getting on, isn't it? Yeah. Not, I don't mean getting on as in getting on. They've still got the rest of their life in front of them, but they're not little chick kids anymore, are they? No, they're certainly not. They one still the, ring home when they want what, something. One of them's still at home. Oh, yeah, of course one of them's moved out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I would say that my 24-year-old is a 24, sort of coming on 14, you know. Oh, really? Still have to wade into his bedroom to, you know, can't see the carpet the oh, floor anymore. No. Yeah. Well, it's Carrie's birthday on the 27th. Did you say your son's was on the 27th? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so shares it with Carrie. Look at the pressing directions for these, oh, then. Oh, you've not gone wrong, have you? <laughs> no, have we gone wrong? I'm just finger-pressing them okay. out. And I'll press those in. So I'll put... All I'm doing now is putting the rows together. Yeah. So I'm just going to... And also, the quilt itself will come together quite big, cause the, quite quickly, because the, qu the actual blocks, as you say, are quite big, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, exactly. She shows you in the book how to press it. Oh, yeah, the block, they're 16 it. inches, aren't they, the um, blocks? See, Margaret says it would have been my dad's 111th birthday on the 28th. Uh, mm. It was my, would have been, yesterday, um, it was would have been my nan's birthday and she would have been 122 yesterday. And I'm not sure, I think my granddad, his, it's his birthday, it was his birthday today, her husband. And um, I'm not sure how old he was. Stone deaf he was, stone deaf. We had to talk to him in sign, not proper sign language, we used to do all different sign language. I just like saying to him, it's raining, like that. And he go running out to do the... And he'd it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you meanie. That's who I'm named after. He was called John Edward, and I'm John Edward, you see. So just a top row. Mm-hmm. She also talks about, um, in the book, there's different quilting designs, and she talks about using sort of all-over designs is what she tends to favour. Yeah, the one that she's, well, actually, she's made this one. Joyce made this one, but she got her friend Cheryl to um, quilt it. But it's a strange, I've never seen that quilting design before. It almost looks like... No, I um, hadn't either. That sort of... Can you, uh, can you, yeah. uh, I don't know if you can see, can you, oh, hang on, you have to get the camera over very quickly. Do you want me to? Where is it? She's here now. Come on in and have a look at this quilting here. Oh, no, you see, Hannah thought she'd use Japanese fab fan fabric. But can you, can you see that? Can you come in any closer? Look, 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 look. I've never seen that print before of quilting. But she say her friend Cheryl did it. Cheryl. Not Cheryl Crow, no, Cheryl Ferris. I wonder if she's related to Pam. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get many people that are, that are quilters and... Pieces. No. Oh, really? No, no. No, I've noticed that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think people don't realise when they first start. 
Then what am I looking here? Okay, how you done? How you doing? Yeah. Uh, Sally Ann, you don't look old enough to have a 29 year old son. Oh, that's, that's definitely worth getting up. I didn't up say this, that. It's worth getting up this morning just yeah. for that. <laughs> and Dylan, you haven't seen her husband as well. He's a <laughs> dashing gentleman. Right, do you want me to give this a press? Uh, if show, you've got time, yeah, it, just quickly, very quickly. Show it in all its glory. Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to give it a quick press. All the tennis grand slams are later than usual to allow for safe COVID oh. gaps between them. Ah, oh. players for Wimbledon have to isolate for 10 days and stay in the bubble for the tournament. No private houses. Oh, cracky, all the people in Wimbledon they usually make a fortune. I've got a friend called Sam and she normally rents her house in Wimbledon out to famous tennis players and then she just flirts with them the whole time. <laughs> She's a continuity lady. She used to be the continuity lady on um, Poirot when I used to do Poirot. What, as a tennis player? Right, let's have a quick look. There we go. That's gorgeous. Thank you, Sally. Look at that. It's incredible, that, isn't it? That, so that one goes... You see, but they'd make nice cushion covers anyway. In here. They? It's the next one. Lovely. You can't yeah. reach, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> when are you in next, then? Um, I'm not in now until the 31st of July. 31st of July. Oh, very nice. We'll have a lovely break from us and we'll see you very soon. Thank you very Thank much you, indeed. John. Right, very quick uh, round up. The book is very, very popular today. Twelve ninety nine. Should be fifteen ninety nine. No idea why it's brand new and it's uh, only twelve ninety nine, but here we go. There you go. Really, really lovely book and very, very popular. Eight projects, two ways to use your yardage or your scraps, twelve ninety nine by Joyce Dean or oh, now Giesler. Giesler. Is that an L? Giesler. Giesler. There you go. Okay, that's twelve ninety nine. The two bundles I've got available for you today are these. Oh now there you go. This is the most popular one. So you get two meters, two meters, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. Oh sorry, that looks a bit messy, doesn't it? Making it worse now. There you go. Oh, all right, Hannah. Well, yeah, I wasn't going to say, she said. £93.99. pence. Oh, she can't wait to go home today. And then the other one here. You get two metres, two metres, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. There you go. £61.99. pence. Mustard, chain and bar quilt. Now, I think it's an unusual name, chain and bar, isn't it? I wonder why it's called that then. Because the one after it is confetti. That's all like lovely and delicate, isn't it? And that's called chain and bar. No, I love the quilt. It's just a strange name. Anyway, we're going, going, going. After break, I am revisiting lots of your favourite kits. But they're mainly, the theme of the hour is kits for beginners. I will see you in three minutes from now. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Tune into Sewing Street this week for amazing early bird deals. We have two each day from Monday the 14th to Friday the 18th of June with new early bird deals and we're bringing back some of your favourite deals too. Watch from 8am to 1pm on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube or our Facebook Live.
Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. It's my birthday and we're having a whole weekend of celebrations. I know, we've got new guests, we've got brand new projects, we've got uh, giveaways, fabulous birthday giveaways for everybody who shops. Join us on Saturday, June the 19th and Sunday, June the 20th to join in the celebrations. Uh, you can find us on Sky 670, Freeview 72, YouTube and our very own Facebook page. I'll see you there. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. 
so you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page are you a fan of sewing street and yarn lane why not join our growing facebook fans pages just search sewing street fans and yarn lane tv fans on facebook and click join group it's that simple Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! my word look at my desks both desks are completely covered in loads of goodies for you this hour um and i've got sewing machines in the next hour but i've not just got sewing machines i've got a couple of quilt kits in the next hour as well beautiful 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 right where shall we start now this hour could uh, hannah's um hannah's taken a headache pill and it seems to have not done the trick sort of thing so it could this hour could be a bit unusual it's fine she said right come on let's go Right, okay, lots and lots of fun things for if you're just starting and you want something new to practice with. Now, if you look at this month's Simply Sewing magazine, you will see this heavily featured on, I think it's page 19, on my page. Um, it, this is brilliant. This is such an easy skirt to do. You don't have to use fat quarters. You can use length of fabric if you want to. But in here, there's the option to make a, a lady's skirt or a little girl's skirt or... A gender free skirt if you want it to be but basically there's a small one and a larger one in there and you you make it bigger well no, you make it larger sizes by just adding more panels that's the easiest way to make it it's such a lovely little skirt this one um, and it's got the pattern in there and the instructions in there 14 pounds and 49 pence it's a wraparound skirt and what's good about it is a lot of wraparound skirts don't have enough of a wrap do they this goes right the way around it's fantastic so you're you're not going to be walking along the skirt's going to be flapping open and you know what anyway 14 pounds 49 pence it is Catherine right she's in uh oh no no not no, no she's not in i was gonna say she's in tomorrow but she's not at all because i'm not even in tomorrow that was next week we were looking at i'm not in tomorrow it's fixed tomorrow i've got one day off and then i'm in on saturday sunday monday tuesday and then i've got two days off I know. Don't know what to do with myself. I'll be coming up on the second day going, can I come, can I come back to work? No, I definitely won't. <laughs> right, anyway, it's a fat cord skirt pattern from Catherine Wright. We have a kimono pattern from So Girl, Fiona Hesford. Now, in on the same page in the Simply Sew magazine, you'll also see a pattern, not this one, it's a skirt pattern by Fiona Hesford as well. 18 pounds and 50 pence. This is brilliant for beginners. It's a Suki kimono, sizes small to extra extra large, suitable for beginners. Now the thing about um, So Girl Blog, you want to go to So Girl Blog because you'll see all the kind of um, tips and techniques and everything you can make this and hack it and everything like that. All the sizes are available on the back there. How much fabric you need, everything is on the outside of the packet. Inside you've got the patterns and you've got all your instructions inside as well. I bet she's not sitting on the beach in Brighton today, is she? No. She was the other day, I messaged her the other day, and she sent me a picture of her legs on the beach, going, oh, I'll read it when I get home. I oh, know. What a life, though. I do have the apron panels. Now, you've seen these once this week. Uh, oh, hang on. One, two, three. There they are. There they are. I've got blush, I've got green, and I've got navy. In fact, oh, I've just pushed it away. Isn't that funny? When I was tidying up this morning, 
I just put it away. The green one first. Here we go. So this is exclusive. I'm sorry, I've got. A bit, I've turned the aircon off, and I can feel my air, my um, hay fever kicking in now. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Nowhere near as bad as it was. Yeah, we've all got issues, Dave. Right now, this is brilliant because you not only get all the panels you need, but you get the instructions on the panel. This is green, you said. This is green. No, this is definitely the green one because that's the blush one and that's the navy one. So, you, Jules, my youth, made this on the telly. Uh, it was a Monday because it was Rebecca Reed presenting. You get the panel for the front of the apron. You get your pockets. You get your instructions. And then you get your neckties and your waist ties on there. Well, in fact, one's a different colour, look. Is that just a spare one there? Looks like that one at the end's a spare one. Yeah, it's a spare one. You get all of that, £17.99. Could you put embroidery on it? Is it a cooking apron? Is it a gardening apron? Is it an apron from welcoming guests? I'm just busy in the kitchen, you say. I've just got my apron on because I'm busy in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, like when you're selling your house and you put bread in the oven, just warm it up. You're not making it, you're just making the house smell of bread because that's the most popular thing to sell a house, isn't it? Smells like bread. Right, next one is blush. Now, it's exactly the same pattern, this next one. Just a different background colour. This one is blush. Soft, pale pink, this one. There you go. There, oh, wrong way up, sorry. There's the, there, there's the front of the apron. It's the same design, same flowers but just with a different coloured background, the blush pink background. Yeah, look, that end one there must be um, a freebie one. Oh, I know, I know, I know. The one Rebecca Reed was wearing. Actually, is Rebecca Reed in today? She's not, is she? She, Jules made a frill out of that bit and put it across the front there. And we were looking for that one the other day and then someone went, oh, it's a Re Rebecca Reed's house. She got it at home. Yeah, she wore it all day long and then went home in the car in it. I don't know if that was the day she flirted with the man in the petrol station. There was one morning she came, well, no, it was one morning she came to work, filled her car with petrol in Bristol at half past four in the morning, whatever, and then their till broke down. And, she, and he said, it would be about half an hour. Is that all right, love? And she was like, um, I've got to get to work. So she flirted with him and promised that she'd go in on her way home from work. I presume she must have done. Who knows? Look, this is the navy one. This is my favourite, this one. Like a, I don't want to say a dirty navy because that's the wrong word, isn't it? But it's a kind of, how do you describe it? It's not bright, it's matte. Say a matte, is it? And then we've got that on the straps, on the back, in your pockets. One of these is just a pocket lining as well, can you believe? Lovely. Exclusive, totally and utterly exclusive to Sang Street. £17.99. Tab. Oh, yes, the big one from the new school of... Oh, yeah, well, this is lovely, this book. Well, I was going to say... Yeah, we have previously sold this at £25. And for some reason, I don't know why it's been... Well, they haven't even written reduced, have they? So I don't quite know. I think when it came in the second time... Someone's obviously put a different figure in there. It says £25 on the back. We have sold it for £25. This is the most beautiful coffee table book about embroidery. It's from the Royal School of Needlework, which is, a, as we all know, at Hampton Court Palace. And each section is written by an expert within that field. So you've got cruel work, black work, white work, silver shading, stump work, bead embroidery, canvas work and gold work in here. And it's just a, such a beautiful book. And you can tell you in your different sections by looking at the different coloured pages at the end there. So if you do need to just jump to one of them. Oh, what's that? And now I know it's a banana. What technique is it? That's incredible, isn't it? That's beautiful. 
silk shading that is look that's incredible anyway so you've got all your different sections all done by a different um let me go to the beginning of one let's just go to the beginning of the lilac one there so this is canvas work done by rachel doyle so there's an introduction from Ra by rachel doyle and then you have a whole um chapter all on the canvas work <coughs> excuse me just gorgeous isn't it if you right, then let's jump again oh that's the history of bead embroidery there we go so this is white work lovely now one of these sections that by lizzie will it be gold work let's have a look who's gold work i mean it's just so it's not just about looking at beautiful pictures it's got all the techniques and everything in there as well stump work applique oh have i gone to a different color now Anyway, just beautiful, isn't it? Helen McCook has done one of them. And just before lockdown, I was supposed to be helping her with her wedding dress. But then it all got... Oh, did you notice? When we used to work at the same quarter, we had a lovely girl called L Laura. who used to have a sit behind me. And she was planning her wedding years ago. And they were saving and saving and saving. And then, of course, the pandemic happened. And anyway, she got married yesterday. Very expensive looking dress. In a very expensive looking hotel. Yes, but then they'll only been allowed to be 30 people there, wouldn't they? Anyway, look, this is Helen McCook. So we were discussing her wedding dress just before lockdown. So each section is done by a different expert within that field. Lovely, isn't it? So much information in there. For your 1899, Royal School of Needlework, Book of Embroidery. It's big. This is big. I don't know if you can... Let me just hold it up like this, right? Look. It's big. It's a hefty tome uh, and beautiful, beautiful book. For, and that make a lovely present for somebody. If you know somebody that's interested in embroidery, such a lovely present. £18.99. Pence. I know, I don't know how either. Just enjoy. Yeah, Hannah, how? Oh, did you wake her up? Anyway, moving on. Confetti quilting instructions. Right, the pitch. If you don't know what confetti um, quilting is, are you able to swing the camera around that way? These are just the instructions from Delphine. Nine ninety-nine. Now, oh, there you go. That the one I pointed at, the banana, was called silk shading embroidery. Thank you, Anne. Right. So, can you see the pictures? There'll be a bit of a glare on them. It's all three of them, but that's the, that's the autumn. And then the one above it must be spring. I don't know, really. There's that one. And then the one above it is full summer, I'd say. Oh, that's got a bit... What's that? Just the light, the way the light's glaring on it. It's an introduction to confetti quilting. Now, you do need some fabric that you chop up into little bits. Mainly, um, Delphine always uses um, batiks because you get all the different colours in there. And then that creates all the... Then you kind of um, put your stalks and your chunks on. And then you put a very, very fine net over it. And then you uh, machine stitch all over it. It's incredible, the effect, isn't it? Look. And there's all your, there's your quilt tree patterns. So love... I'd never seen it before. I'd heard of it, but I'd never, ever seen it before. That's confetti quilting, introduction, step-by-step -step instructions on how to make a mini art quilt using the confetti quilting method by Delphine Brooks. She'll be in on uh, Sunday. Oh, is it Saturday? No, Sunday. Oh, hang on. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. She's in on Sunday. Yeah. Just for one hour, doing a cave quilt. Okay, moving on. Next. Is that these? Floral. Oh, I say these and this is nice. Oh, 
Oh, that these this is a floral tote bag, bright watercolour floral tote bag, including instructions. These have only ever been on air before once with me and Catherine. Was it with Catherine? Right. Uh, they sold out on the day. So 1999. Now that's only half of it. That's only half of your panel because look. There's the other half with your instructions. And then these are, this is spare fabric, this bit here. These are your bag facings. Bag handles, isn't that beautiful? So let me just open, so, so you've got your instructions there. I'd use that as part of my lining or something, so I've always got it there. But look, 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 look. This huge, this panel. Anyway, I've seen the finished one of this on the shelf somewhere next door. Didn't know we had this today. No, 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 uh, no, 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 it's nobody's fault. It was just a bit manic yesterday when we were trying to get everything sorted and I was trying to sign thousands of orophils and had a very strange assistant. So isn't it beautiful? That's one side the bag, that's the other side the bag. They're slightly different, look. Then you've got your, t your, these are your linings. I mean, the linings are beautiful enough, aren't they? Hmm? No, you don't need to add anything. I think we might have added um, some H640 or something, didn't we? But I don't know if we did. It was an option, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's no, no mention of it in here. So if you wanted just a really, really cute, simple, but beautiful... Um, tote bag. If you don't want to make a tote bag, you don't have to. If you can think of other things to do, because you get four decent sized pieces of fabric there. First time, it's only ever been on air once before, sold out. Sold out, sold out. Sold. You even get, look, this is extra. That there is not part, of, isn't even part of the design. You just get that as extra. And this panel here, that's all extra fabric as well. So you get an awful lot of, of fabric for your money there for $19.99. Right, there's a blue one coming up next. Remember, they sold out on the day I did them with Catherine. This is the first time we've had them back since. The blue one has already been selling on pre-order. There you go, there's the blue one. Oh, there you go. That's what it makes. You've got the other side as well. No. Who was in that day? Anyway, look. You get the two blue uh, panels there. You get your two lining panels here. And on, it's not the other side, obviously. It's the other section. These are your straps and your facings. That's spare. And then all those flowers at the top there, they're all spare as well. I know, I know, I know. It's beautiful. I'm going to turn it over. Like I say, it sold out on the day Catherine and I did it. It was the first time they've been back on air. Stunning. Do you know what? You could almost make, I wonder, I haven't measured it, but I imagine if you want to, you put that, that one in the centre of quilt and you could do medallion, you could do a border of this and you could do a border using your strap panels. Couldn't you? Mix it with something of your stash. Stash busting, like they call it. £19.99. pence. I mean, just for the, literally, for a panel that big, it's incredible, the price. And it's exclusive. You can't get this anywhere else at all. Only available in Sang Street. Beautiful. I'm just staying with you because I can see how, well, I can't, but Hannah can see loads of you on the phone lines. There's the finished bag. Very, very simple tote bag, but very stylish. Very stylish. Okay, I'm going to move on. Have I? Oh, they see now she's not been very good on this on the Emma. That was supposed to go there with that. Right, yeah. 
No, I, I, poor old Emma, Hannah said, everything that's felt goes on there. Needle felting. And, and so then Emma kept picking up felt and going, no, not on that table, on that table. Felt flowers on that table. Right, what's we doing next? These. Hannah's, these are in because Hannah just loves these. They're tiny lobster claws. Brilliant for putting inside your handbag for attaching your keys to. Making little key rings would be perfect. Uh, should you make earrings out of them? These are living in loveliness, two lobster clasps. Bless you. These are definitely silver, aren't they? Oh, I'm thinking that when Kerry first brought these in, there might have been a selection of colours, maybe. But yours are definitely silver, I'm presuming. Kerry was watching earlier, she better message in and tell me. Right, now we've got the single big one, which is one we use for the bag on. Oh, all the days are blurring in together, aren't they? When did I last make a bag? With Dawn. This is the size you got with Dawn. One ninety nine. it is. pound ninety nine. This is one Hannah would have to, but she's lost her keys again. And now she's lost her glasses and she's thinking they've gone to the same place in the house, but she can't. I wonder if you've got a place where you put them, I'll put them there because they're safe there. And they're behind the front door or something. So every time you open the front door, you can't find them. Yeah, for some reason they're on top of the boiler last time. You sure Reggie, the dog, hasn't stolen them? One ninety-nine. I wonder if he was able to tell Tony when he got home what happened. I wonder if they have that. Oh, the dog had... The, the, the dog hadn't even noticed. Reggie hadn't even noticed that Hannah fell over. He just knew that there were treats all over the floor and he was licking her face. Oh, it was a proper, proper fall over as well, wasn't it? One ninety nine. We on like a walk, like little Paul does. We taking pictures. Oh, he's an, oh. What shoes were you wearing? Well, that's why. They're not walking shoes. Anyway, one ninety nine. Swivel clip. People, lots of people multiplying those. Not surprised, because you always need a couple for a project, don't you? I let's start a kit. 5.5 these are. So you, what you get, you don't need anything else apart from a hammer. Oh, my hammer's gone missing. I'm sure Danny the Gardener's taken it. Yeah, it could be where your glasses and, and your keys are. These are rust-proof brass. You don't need an extra tool because this tool is one. All you need is a hammer. There are what, sorry? Oh, yeah, the refills on the website. But it's better if you, because we're doing beginning kits in this one. Uh, this is one you can start with. But then also, if you get this, you've always got that tool so that when you get your refills, you know you've got your tool. Now, this is the 5.5 millimeter. There are 40 eyelets in there. That's just over half a centimetre. Starter kit, it's called. Okay, so that's five and a half brass. I've got bigger ones here. Hang on, I'm just going to do that now. Oh, that's such a big jump. Fifteen millimeter. Now this has a different. It's still got the tool in, but it's a different tool. In fact, these are completely different. These aren't eyelets, right? I haven't got fifteen millimeter eyelets. Fourteen millimeter eyelets. There we go. Sorry, that's that one. That's all right. No, no, no. It's fine. Yeah. Now these are the one when Alice and Marion did a. Beach bag. These are the ones she used for the beach bag. And then, what date was that on? 
they are. Yeah, yeah. Eight ninety nine they are. Yeah. Now they also say they're rust proof but brass. So they're obviously made of brass, but those ones are the brass coloured. These are the nickel colour. Nickel. Fourteen millimetre, you get ten sets in there. Tells you how to do them on the back there. From how so that tool will also cut the hole in your fabric and then put the eyelet in. I mean you have to help it, it's not magic, it doesn't do it on its own. Right, the rope. Now, when I looked at this, Hannah said, you do that to do the rope. And I went, that's not rope. But Alison, Marion, Alison, Marion, Alison, Marion demoed. Oh, is that the still of the picture where she's standing all the way over there and it's attached to a sewing machine over here? 8th of June, this was done. It's called bag handle cotton cording. You twist it to make a wider rope for in your bag. Handle. Then it fits in the 14 millimetres. That's like plaited cotton, isn't it? Four ninety-nine. that is, you get eight metres. Oh, that's flying out, you're loving that. I think that would also be good. I know I keep talking about that textile art book yesterday. But when you're doing like your beach huts and you want to just put a little bit of, you know, kind of, that would look lovely attached, wouldn't it? Fabulous. Lovely. It footprints in the sand. Isn't that a song? Footprints in the sand, quilted wall hanging, just the instructions. Same day she did the rope. Finish size 24 by 29. And she think they're her actual footprints. Or do you think they're her Mike's footprints? 9.99 that pattern. So it tells you what you need fabric-wise. Helpful but not essential. And then I, I can, I'm going to open, how many of these have I got? <laughs> I don't think Hannah's, I'm going to say not long for this world, I don't mean that at all. I don't think Hannah's really with us now. Look. Oh, they're little. No, they can't be Alice and Marion's. They're way too little, aren't they? Um, just someone's just uh, someone's messaged in saying that uh, we've just sold the same iron today that we sold the other day. The other day, it was a completely different iron. It was still rose gold, different base and a different because you could use it with the with the base on it automatically and a much smaller setting. So that was a limited one for forty nine pounds. Today's was a different one. It was still a steam iron made by Beldre in rose and gold, but it was a completely different style. And on the Beldre website today, they are fifty nine ninety nine. And on the website, yeah, that was fifty nine ninety nine. And then on the Long River, it was thirty four ninety nine, wasn't it? And we sold it for twenty nine ninety nine. Anyway, different iron from the other day. It's a different iron from the other day. Right, footprint in the sand. There's your flip flops. And then all your instructions are in there. Oh, that's separate, that one. That one's not in the thing. There you go. Oh, what's that there? Is that your backing? Oh, yes, scrappy binding, that is, scrappy binding. It does look like one of those Rich and Attenborough. No, David Attenborough. Who's the one that goes around the world? David, because Richard's the one who lives in Richmond, isn't it, with the posh house. Oh, is he not? Oh, sorry. Sending blessings. Right. Footprints in the sand. 
Oh yeah, 8th of June it was on, I can see that. It's written on the pattern. Alice Mary thinks of everything, doesn't she? Okay, where am I going next? PVC with glitter here. This is by the half meter, it's very wide. Look. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. <laughs> I don't have a shower curtain. That's what. <laughs> Anyway. Oh yes, imagine if you if that, you bought that house in the village next moment with all the windows were all glittery like that. Be nice. Anyway, how much is it? Two ninety nine for half a meter. It comes off the bolt. It's not pre cut, is it? This one. No, it comes off the bolt, so you can have as much or as, as little as you want, as long as it's in half meter increments. Good. For, oh, actually, we had a Sally Ann. Oh, uh, didn't I? Didn't show it to her. Sally Ann. One of Sally Ann's patterns was had um, that in it, didn't it? Not today. Not the one she showed today. But the patterns we had in the first hour on the upsells, like the pouch bag and things like that. When do Orlando instructions? PVC storage bags. These use that PVC there, look. Now, I could have got, I forgot we had these. I could have got them on the shelf. Well, I couldn't get near the shelf, could I? 9 99 PVC storage, big enough to put your shoes in. Put your, well, it's a very big bag for your makeup. Well, it's got a lot of makeup, I suppose. Oh, no, apparently Vix's makeup bag's huge. Oh, I use a, a ba Bav Baffa made me a lovely uh, bag for my birthday last year and I used to keep all my makeup in that one. It's only small. I don't need makeup because you can't improve on this, could you? No, that's wrong. What could you do with this? Not you can't improve on this. But I've got another Wendy Orlando design here. Right, now this is a funny bundle, right? You get the instructions and you get two zips. We use that fabric from your stash. There you go, two zips. Like four candles, but two zips. All the instructions. How much is it? $13.99. Gorgeous. Is there anything written on the back? Oh, yes, instructions carry on. Box corners, completing. Congratulations, your bag is now finished. Okay, well done. What, what? Quilt as you go shopper bags is very popular, this one. You get a set of three. You get all three of those in here. But no, $23.99. Uh, yes. You get the pattern and the, and the wadding for all three. You get the bottoms, the plastic bottoms. And the actual stuff you quilt onto is like a special material, Hannah saying. Non-woven, so it's stronger. And water resistant. And the plastic bases are included. Three, I think they've priced that up for one, haven't they? Because a normal one of those would be like 20 pounds, wouldn't it? At least. Get three in there. The bags are 13 by 15 by 10. That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Three for 23.99. Chevron, stripes and mayhem. 
Because it goes where you, you, it's already drawn on the fabric and just attached. You attach the backing of the fabric first, so you put your backing on. Then you just put the strips on, sew them on one time, and they tell you to. It's like painting by numbers. Oh, look, like sewing by numbers. There you go. Sew by numbers. Got a FIFO on this one. Excellent value, easy to use. I imagine these are even easier to sew than the wadding ones because the background, the backing isn't a wadding. It's like a, would you say it's non-woven? Non-woven, but it's a kind of, looks like an air taxi woven fabric, but it's not, not, it's not woven. It's pattern. It's made of poly something. Poly, polypropane, that's not a gas. Yeah, I think you've read it wrong. I haven't got it on here, what it's made of. Okay, it's, it's a non-woven fabric. I've opened a can of worms there. All right. You get three. You get, I can't get, believe you get three in there. The flake, moving on. Now, we, we might end up going over a little bit, but it's fine because it's me in the next hour, so don't worry. It's just, I've, got, I've still got that table to do yet, as well as everything on this table. Oh, Christine. Hi, John. I made the culture go bag for my friends. They love it, and it holds loads from Christine in Merseyside. Cake and wine, Hannah said. Does it hold cake and wine? It'll hold whatever you want it to hold. But they're big. They are big bags when they're finished. Oh. Look, this is very, very popular. The thing is, if you've not even got any plans to do it, right, I'd get this because twenty three ninety nine. I know I talk about these prices all the time because they're just amazing, but that's not right. That is not right because... I know, I don't think somebody has, has realised that you get all three in there. You don't choose which one you want. You get all three. You get the chevron, the stripe and the mayhem one. You get all three of those. I'll do that again. You get the chevron, the stripe and the mayhem one. All three and the plastic bottoms. It, it's brilliant, isn't it? So even if you make one now, take it shopping and then in a few months time make another one. Make one for your Christmas shopping. Make one for your vegetables. Make one for your... Oh, there they go. They've got vegetables in that one. Look, some of them. The thing is, I love it when they do a photo like this. If you, if you walk down the high street like that, that would have been rolling down. That would have gone on the... You know what I mean? It would have gone on... That one there, you wouldn't put a vase of flowers in with your bananas, would you? Yes. How's that pear sticking out there? And that peanut butter. Is that peanut butter in there? Anyway, lots of you coming for those. Lots of you coming for those. That. Tahini. That's tahini, apparently. That's a very big jar of tahini when you only need to use a teaspoon each time. And what's that there? Frozen peas? Frozen sprouts for Christmas. That's a bag of sunshine, and that's wine, which Hannah's obviously been having too much of recently. Were you drunk when you fell over? Were you drunk when you fell over? Oh, okay. She had a beer afterwards to help. Teddy bear pattern now from Helen Newton. If you want to make a, a teddy bear for someone, or a, a memory bear or something like that, there's all your pattern pieces. Oh, now you will need to Trace these off because, look, they overlap each other. So you will need to trace those off. Oh, we will anyway because they're on both sides, look. Body front, body back. Bag strap, bag. Oh, it comes in a bag. Oh, no, look, it's got a little bag there. 9 99 Helen Newton. Teddy bear. I 
think this one was on the set for a while, wasn't it? I don't know where it's gone now. Is Nars Blue the one we've got? Oh, that was a different bit. Beautiful. Don't put buttons on if you're giving it to an under three year old. That's all I say. Thank you. That's all I say. Next. Fabulous felt book on that desk, Emma. There you go. I love this book. Look. Corinne Lapierre made 30 easy to sew accessories and decorations. What do I use that for? Oh, okay. Let's see what she calls it then. Right. Fabulous felts. Here we go. Let's go for a romp through this book now. You've got all the techniques at the beginning. All the different stitches you might need. Right. Summer garden needs beach hut bunting. You've got your rose brooches. You've got your flower brooches. You've got your lavender sardines, of course. Right, raccoon and fox. Hanging decorations. I don't know if I'd want those on my feng shui wishing tree. They might be a bit big. How big are they finished? They're seven and three quarter inches. Anyway, they're cute, aren't they, though? Spring and Easter, they're... Birds hanging, of prosperous chickens. Then you've got Easter decorations, your spring hanging, your butterfly and flower, your decorative rabbits. Oh, well that's nice, that little horse. Horse. So you've got Christmas lavender bags. I'd put Christmas, and I wouldn't put lavender in there, I'd put that Christmas scent in there. Uh, Woodland mobile, oh that's nice. Now these would go on my tree. These go on my feng shui tree. The hedgehog and the bird. And the tulip. I'm allergic to mushrooms. Halloween decorations. Look, little Paul socks. Then we've got little Paul, Christmas pixie. He's got a hat a bit like that, hasn't he? And he lives in a house like that. Mug cosy. Oh, look. How'd you get... The thing is, I'd be worried that the felt would get in your mouth. Would you take it off with... <laughs> Well, no, look, it's right near the top. Anyway, heart hanging, Christmas clog and mitten. There he is, Scandios. Oh, And then we've got home and lifestyle. We've got bag charms. We've got Russian dolls. We've got sleepy fox brooches. That's Hannah. Scandy style pillow. Owl pillow. I think she, she spent time in Scandinavia. Sleepy fox pillow. Toy bunny, we like that, oh, we like that one. Wall hanging organiser, hedgehog pillow. I might have to get one of those to live in my hedgehog hotel. Children's wall hanging, then all your templates are in here. All the right size. They're brilliant, I want to know about her, where's, where's about her? Studied fine art in France before moving to England to work as a fashion designer. She came increasingly interested in textile, traditional textile crafts and experimented with various techniques. She also sells her own felt-based craft kits and gifts for adults and children. How much is that? £17. That's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. I'll just put that to one side. Right, felt flower workshop. A modern guide to crafting gorgeous plants and flowers from fabric by Brianne Rajamana. These are going to be gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, yes, I know these. These are, look at those succulents. Look, aren't they beautiful? Oh, yes, I, yes, yes. We like her, we like her, they like these. 
Okay, this is an easy, <laughs> easy rolled mum. <laughs> That's weird. Why would you be called a mum? Anyway, we're carrying on. Attaching a stem. Then we've got air plants. Succulents, you and me. Anemones. Lavenders. Oh, these are gorgeous. Look, magnolia, poppy, garden rose. Now, oh, there's the succulents. Ranuncular. They're the ones that make your water smell funny, aren't they? In the vase, obviously. Sunflower. Peony. Oh, all my peonies are out now in the garden. Wildflower. She obviously didn't know the name of that one, did she? Basic leaves and stems. Oh, look, that's nice. Yeah, eucalyptus, fern. Oh, there you go. Olive branch. We often need those, don't we? Offering the olive branches. Magnolia leaves. Then, then, that's not even the projects. That's just how to make the basics. And then she's made an air plant terrarium. She's made a sunflower centerpiece. These are lovely. Hannah couldn't even kill these. Hang on. Floral pouch. Magnolia wreath. Ro oh, that's lovely. Rose and peony garland. Where's to go dancing in Liverpool? Potted ferns. Succulent hoop. Olive branch wreath. There's more than one olive wreath. Yeah. Nice. Stitched and stuffed aloe plant. Uh, then it could be a pink cushion. Yeah. It could look. Matching boutonniere and corsage. What you, what you got it then? Have you not? It's the man's version of a corsage. A uh, special day bouquet. Where do you, oh, imagine get married with that. Uh, unicorn headband, Hannah. Oh, mum equals chrysanthemum, says Deborah. Thank you. Not Hannah's mum, Shazza. Look, all the templates you need are in there as well. Beautiful. Lovely. Right, moving on. Next. Oh, over there I've got some felt in the pile. <laughs> right, there we go. Wall pile. Uh, what have I got here then? Twenty-two fifty-nine. You get fifty pieces in here. Assorted colours, washable felt. It's not that. Sorry, move that way. There you go. Twenty-two pounds and fifty-nine pence. How many pieces are there? Fifty. Fifty pieces. There'll be a mix. There'll be wool and acrylic mix. I imagine. All those gorgeous colours. You do get. 50 sheets, and they're that big. 23 by 23 centimetres. They're about 50p each then. Does that work out like 50p each? I can work that out. Hang on. Forty five P each they are. Right, so just expect because it's twelve o'clock. Are we going for a break and then coming back with these and sewing machines? What are we doing? Are we carrying on? Are we carrying on? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just might need to make a comfort call soon. The blue floral bag. No, 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 I'll carry on. It's absolutely fine. Yes, okay then. I've got two lovely um, Quillo patterns here as well. Oh, okay, the Quillo patterns are on the, on the pre-order underneath us. Right, so this panel is enormous, right? I'm just going to do a couple of recaps and we will be going for a break. Come back, do needle felting, sewing machines and quilts after that. Right, this is a blue panel. That's only half of it, right? Uh, the first time we had this on, it sold out. This is the second. We've got it back in stock now. Exclusive to Sewing Street, 19 dollars That's only half of it. Because the other half, 
is here, look. So that's your bags and your lining. That's your straps. This is a spare piece of fabric. The flowers at the top are a spare piece and you get your instructions on there. That will make this. And it's different on both sides. Look, you see, that's, that's, uh, uh, that's that side, isn't it? We've just shown there. That's the other side there. And then that's your lining. What you could do if you want to make two bags is you could use that as the front and that as the back on one. That's the back front and that and the back on another and just use your stash fabric, like a pale blue or a green or something to line it with. And then all of these make your straps. Oh, actually you might need to, different fabric. You might not have enough there to make two bags of straps, but straight lines, aren't they? Straight pieces. Everything you need there, 19 pounds and 19 pence. That's the blue version. We also have it in what we call brights, which is this one. We haven't got an image of this one made up, but look. Exactly the same principle, but bright colours rather than all the blues. Look, beautiful, aren't they? So you get those two, your bag front and back. There are your linings. There are your straps and your facings. That's your extra bit of fabric there, and that's your extra bit of design at the top there. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Beautiful. Make sure you check out on those. We can never sell out again if we're not careful. Right, and then last but not least, just to recap, I've got the um This has been so popular today. Star of the hour this is. Not me, no, the quilts you go. $23.99. You get all three of these in there. All three of them. Now, you know, ha oh, I've got fewer than 20 left now. Fewer than 20 of those left. You know that one of those on its own, I imagine would be $19.99. All right, let's be very generous. $15.99, say. Say $15.99. But in the normal ones, you don't get your plastic bottoms, do you? Oh, okay. The the uh, one photo on the web looks like it's just different colourways. It's not. You get three different bags. You get chevron, stripe, and random. No, mayhem. Mayhem, sorry. Yeah, some of the others have drawings on the front like that, but you can only make one, can't you? Actually, how much is the three tote bag? Three, no, not three tote bags, three bottle bags. They're, that's £19. It's not... And this is three huge shopper bags. It's a different, it's not the wadding inside. It's like a non-woven, splash-resistant layer made of poly something. And you get the bottoms, the plastic bottoms. That's a brilliant buy. That, if you're only going to buy one thing today, I'll be quick then, there's loads of you coming in. We're going to what? Hannah just said we're off to bed now. We're going for a break now. After break, I'll carry on with needle felting and I'll do some machines and I've got a couple of quilts. I'll see you in about four from now. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Tune into Sewing Street this week for amazing early bird deals. We have two each day from Monday the 14th to Friday the 18th of June with new early bird deals and we're bringing back some of your favourite deals too. Watch from 8am to 1pm on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube or our Facebook Live.
It's my birthday and we're having a whole weekend of celebrations. I know we've got new guests, we've got brand new projects, we've got uh, giveaways, fabulous birthday giveaways for everybody who shops. Join us on Saturday, June the 19th and Sunday, June the 20th to join in the celebrations. Uh, you can find us on Sky 670, Freeview 72, YouTube and our very own Facebook page. I'll see you there. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember, but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! It's my birthday and we're having a whole weekend of celebrations. I know, we've got new guests, we've got brand new projects, we've got uh, giveaways, fabulous birthday giveaways for everybody who shops. Join us on Saturday, June the 19th and Sunday, June the 20th to join in the celebrations. Uh, you can find us on Sky 670, Freeview 72, YouTube and our very own Facebook page. I'll see you there. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing 
and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. I know we're only starting 45 minutes before the end, but uh, I've got lots to cram in. Got machines, got needle felting, got some quilts, and I've got my threads and everything like that. So we're going to do a quick romp through the sewing machines. Now, I have got the 550, the 720, the 780 from Elna, and then I haven't got it here, but we have got a Juki that I can, if I get time, I'll show you. But the, all the information's on the website. Uh, the Juki's on pre-order at the moment, so if you want to go and have a look at that, then please do. If I get time to do it, I will do a quick come. Um, summary of it but I haven't got it actually here with me so now these are four sort of three different not, not three different people but three different categories of sewers aren't they this is a really really lovely machine especially if uh, if you're either a starter machine or if you want a really, really good machine to take away with you or to take to um, your caravan or to take your lodge or you go away a lot or you're like Alison Marion on your barge or whatever. Um, the, before I even start talking about anything, I'm going to talk about the price. And I know I don't normally do that. So it's £499. You can have it on split pay of 166.33. That is no interest charge whatsoever. Three pa is it three payments? Yeah, three payments of 166.33. Now, all I can tell you to do is Yahoo Bing or Google the uh, Elna 550. Because what we do is we sell normally the 550, the 560, and the 570. Uh, 560 we haven't got. 570 sold out, but back in fr Saturday. 570 is back in on Saturday. What happens is, right, we pay, we charge, what we charge for the 570, everyone else charges for the 560. What we charge for the 560, everyone else charges for the 550. And then we can't find any for the price that we sell the 550 for under 500 pounds. Let me just show you. This is an absolute direct comparison. Look at the price. £579. That is a direct comparison. That is this machine. Have they even got it in stock? I'm just doing it. Oh, they've got it in stock. They've got it in stock, right? The next website doesn't. Here we go. Look at the price. You see, £579. Everywhere you go, the 579 Right, now we charge for the 560 £579. Pounds. You know what I mean? And then if you look up 560, that's, well, you know what I mean? It's just, it, it, they're brilliant, 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 brilliant deals. 
So if you've got a budget of £500, then this is the machine for you. It really, really is. Now, they are in the warehouse in Stockport. They are shipped directly from Elna. Um, and as soon as your payment goes through, say you bought this today, right? As soon as your payment goes through, they will start the shipping process out to you. But literally, Elna normally take a couple of, or a couple of working days because we're going into the weekend now. You might get it at the beginning of next week and everything. Um, it comes with a two-year manufacturer's warranty. So if anything goes wrong with your engine or your motor or anything wrong with the actual machine, then it's covered. Obviously, if you, like, break something on it yourself, that is not covered whatsoever. So just so you know. But it comes with that two-year manufacturer's warranty with this. It is a really, really lovely machine. The 550, 560, and 570 are basically all the same machine. They all are the same motor, the same chassis, the same everything. What it is, is you just have different things. So this one here um, uh, has 50 stitches already built in, but I'll talk about those in a, few, in a minute. I'll just show you what you've got on the front of this machine here. So you've got your lock stitch. Da -da 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 -da. You've got your needle up, needle down position. This one does not have a thread cutter on it. Just so you know, does not have a thread cutter on it. This is you go faster, go slower. You can, that's your reverse button there. Oop, there. And... You can use it without a foot pedal. If you want to use it start, stop, you can use it there. You've got a needle threader here. There's your needle threader. And so if we go across here, this is how you choose your different stitches, which I'll show you about in a minute. This is your stitch width. That's your stitch length. This is a shortcut to your straight stitch. That's a shortcut to your cover stitch. No, zigzag. That's a shortcut to your cover stitch. And that's a shortcut to your buttonhole. What you need to know is it has 50 stitches all, and let me just move that across for you. Oh, there you go, wrong way, John. 50 stitches already incorporated into it. So the way you choose what you st the stitch you want to do, let's have a look for stitch number 44, shall we? Stitch number 44. All you do is you just go onto the front of the machine here. And, oh, hang on, let me just turn it. There you go. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40. One, two, three, four. Right, so you know that on this machine you're doing stitch number 44, you need the foot that is labelled with an F, you know the widest stitch it will do is 7, and the longest stitch of that, of that design will be 2.5, and, and you've got your foot pedal plugged in. If you unplug your foot pedal, you can use the start-stop button, then the, the little icon disappears. Right, now you can, if you think, you test it out and you think, oh, that's a little bit too wide for me, you can... Take it down. Now, it will only take you as far as you're allowed to go. So if you try and go too small, there. You can't go. It won't let you do a design it can't do. But so you can go, if you want it at seven, which was your widest stitch on this one, or you can go all the way down. Was it two and a half you could go down to? That's your stitch width. And then again, with your stitch length, this is the biggest little, oh, I'm gone the wrong way. The biggest it is is two and a half, but you can make, take it smaller, look. But you can only go to a one. You don't want it smaller than one, would you? So that's how you work all of that. It is brilliant like that. Um, you've got your bobbin threader at the top here. It threads up like a lovely uh, normal machine. It sews really, really, really beautifully. And it's £499, but look at the split pay. So you, now with the split pay, it's not like one of those Christmas clubs where we take you, you don't get it until you paid all three split pays. After the first split pay, it will be sent to you. No interest charge whatsoever. Now, if you've not bought anything else today, you will be charged your P&P of three ninety five on the first day. Think of three ninety five. Think of what you can post in the post office. Three pound ninety five. Not a lot. This is will come to you directly from Elna for the three pounds and ninety five pence. Uh, but if you've been in today and bought, say, a reel of thread or a needle or something like that, that's it. Your P&P is covered. Obviously, this will come from Elna. What you've bought from us will come from us. So, in fact, you're getting two deliveries, aren't you, for the price of one there. It's a really lovely machine. As I say, they are all waiting in the warehouse in Stockport uh, to be shipped out to you. We're not allowed to sell you anything that we haven't got stock of, which is why there are other Elna machines, like the 570. Um, it will be at the, well, it is in the warehouse now when we do that, but like the 680. We can't sell you a 680 until, not even when we know they're coming off a ship. We cannot sell you to, until they're physically in the warehouse in Stockport. It's the, it's the same with our Dukies. We can't sell them to you unless they're in the warehouse in Essex for that. Right, what was that, Hannah, saying? 
Oh yes, category B. So any any L machine you've got for as a B will fit onto this machine. So don't try putting don't try putting your six eighty feet, which is category D. Don't try putting those onto this. And oh yes, now Margaret bought a five seventy A. None of them come with walking feet, right? The the the, the five fifty, five sixty, five seventy. She just rang Elna. They, are, I don't know if they, yeah, I think they sold one straight away. We don't sell them here. Uh, but she was able to say, I've got the 570A, I need a walking foot, category B, and they would just send it out to her. So make sure that if ever you're buying, if you go to a shop to buy some accessories, make sure you buy category B feet. Oh, there's a huge, huge selection of feet you can get. Actually, have you got, a, have you got the list of the feet you get with this? Because the brochure hasn't come forward. That's all right. Because uh, I, I thought I got it out. Hang on. No, I'm not sure it is. Anyway, you do get feet with this already. I know you get the buttonhole foot, you get your zipper foot. I'll just check because if I say something that's wrong. Oh, you get a quarter inch foot on this one. That's good, isn't it? Especially if you quilt it. Nice and nice amount of throat space here as well. It is a really, really lovely machine. Really lovely machine. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, don't flash it, show it. Right, you get the standard foot A, which is the one that will be on the machine when you get it. You've got the satin stitch foot. You've got the over edge foot, which is like doing an overlocking stitch, but obviously doesn't cut it. You've got a zipper foot. You've got a blind hem foot. You've got a quarter inch foot. You've got your automatic buttonhole foot with stabilizer plate. Then you get bobbin, seam ripper, all those other bits and bobs you expect with the machine. You get all of those, they come with the machine. They are the standard accessories. So you can get this and you can literally start straight away. And it's so easy to use, I can't tell you. I cannot tell you, it's such an easy machine to use. Uh, it does come with a hard case and an extension table. This comes off, oh, oh hang on, that comes off. So it does come with an extension table. So you can have free arm if you want. You can, oh, and you can lower the feed dogs. So you'd have to buy a um, free motion foot foot, but you can do you can re drop the feed dogs. They might you might not need them or want them straight away, but to, to, go to get in touch with them. In fact, I'd say get in touch with Elna. Check our website first, because I know I unpacked a show last week or the week before when Jane was I think Jane was coming in and she had about 20 different feet. So, so you want category B though. You, all the all the elder machines are put into categories, and you want category B. Yeah, yeah. So if you bought this anywhere else, you'd be charging five seventy nine for it. Oh yes, yes. That good point, Hannah. So if you bought if you went to buy that from one of the other shops, right? You pay five hundred seventy nine pounds. Then you might have to buy those feet. You'd get the feet I've told you about here. But if you think about it this way, so £517, £80, right? You've got £80 leeway to go and pay, buy your walking foot and a couple of other feet, haven't you? You know what? So, yes, we're giving you, we're not, I said we're not giving that, but a nice way to think of it, isn't it? This is 499 And then when you're ready, and you could then buy your walking foot and everything. It's not 579 plus your walking foot plus your other foot and everything like that. That's brilliant, isn't it? They are lovely machines. Um, as I say, if this is the kind of baby one. That's not the baby because they're all the same motor. They're all the same chassis and everything like that. All it is is as you go up, the 560 has 100 stitches and a thread cutter. The 570A has 200 stitches plus an alphabet. Do you know what I mean? So um, £499. I oh, know. I oh, know. Brilliant. Actually, oh no, I'll leave that for the weekend. I was going to say something about the 578, but I'll leave that for the weekend. Okay, so this machine, I'm just going to put this down. Comes with a hard case and it comes with, um, but, um, oh, if it's a hard case, it goes over it. But sometimes you, you want to have a waterproof or, or splash proof um, bag, don't you? Oh, right, now, this will be interesting. Which one are you doing first? Yeah, so um, I'm going to be up front with you straight away, right? I'm going to be up front with you straight away because we had these the other day. These are identical bags right absolutely identical bags comes in the teal and it comes in the red it has the zip pocket on the front there the zip that opens up to let your machine in because you get the little um you've got the reinforcer on the straps there so if you are carrying it's not going to cut into your hands you can open this right the way up like this 
and they go plenty room. You can fit your 550, 560, 570 in there. You wouldn't fit a 720, not that you're going to put 720 in here. You couldn't fit your 680 in here if you've got a 680, just so you know. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be really, really, really upfront, and I shouldn't. They're different prices. We don't know why. They're exactly the same bag, but they are different prices. Right, teal, it, right, red's more affordable. I'm going to tell you, they're still a, oh no, but it's 19.99, still a brilliant price. If you, if you Google this, if you Google this, you can find this for an awful lot more money. So it's still good value at 19.99. I'm just being totally and utterly upfront with you. If you don't mind about the color, thing is you've got an Elna, all the accessories on the Elna are red. You know what I mean? The, the clutch and the Elna logo and everything like that is red. So you might want to get to it. I'm talking about the teal one at the moment. 19.99 this one 19 pounds and 99 pence it's beautiful they called it teal 19.99 is it not on that singer website so 19.99 this one i am don't worry don't worry don't worry Hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. We were going to show you a picture, but Hannah's lost it. And the picture. <laughs> oh, no. She's clicked on something and somebody called Dorothy wants to chat to her. Here you go. Here's the exact bag. Here's the exact bag. Reduced from $44.99 to $29.99. Mine is... 19.99 exactly the same bag exactly the same bag but i'm going to move on i'm going to so if you want teal by all means get a teal one but if you want a red one to go with your elna i don't know how this has happened because it's exactly the same which way am i pointing where is it there 12.99 there's no difference there's no difference whatsoever they're identical bags Twelve ninety-nine, and it'd go lovely with your Elna machine because I say with all the red accessories and things. Okay, look at the red one on, on quickly because Dorothy's coming back to chat. There's the red one. It was forty-four ninety-nine. It's now twenty-nine ninety-nine. Excuse me, twelve ninety-nine. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. So I mean, the teal one is lovely. It is more. Uh, this one is more affordable. If you like the teal one, you're still getting it as a good deal compared to that other uh, website. But this one's brilliant. Red, red one. This one is twelve ninety-nine. Make sure you check out. Twelve ninety-nine. I know why. I don't know why about this. That Hannah's talking about something else later on. Okay. Moving on. Oh no, let me do the mat while I'm here, so I can just clear this side of the table. Then uh, this. You've, oh, I don't know where it's gone. Well, this is brilliant. If you now, if you work at home, I would. It doesn't have to be that if you work at home, but if you work um, in the evening when your kids are asleep or you work on the dining room table, this mat is brilliant because first of all, it absorbs a lot of the vibration noise that a sewing machine uh, makes. Also, it will distribute the weight of your sewing machine and, and into the different um, areas because it's like a waffle finish there. So it's not going to make any marks on your table at all. It's got a camphored edge there, so it's not going to be hard on your hands when you're kind of holding things, everything like that. Brilliant little machine. It's 40 by 60 centimetres. It's 15 pounds and 99 pence. Um, you can put it under your overlocker as well or under your sewing machine. And it is, uh, like I say, um, it, a lot of people who work at night time get the, not work, but do their sewing at night time because they don't want to disturb anyone else in the house because it really does absorb any noise that your machine might make. I'm not saying it's going to make your machine silent, but it just takes away that um, humming noise of it against the table and things like that. Okay. Fifteen ninety nine. Right now, this machine, completely different category. It's like a, a semi-industrial machine. It isn't semi-industrial, but it's like a semi-industrial. It's the Seven Twenty Pro. 
I haven't got this one plugged in, so I'm not going to show you exactly how this works. Right. So when we first launched this, it was totally and utterly exclusive to sew. Uh, oh no, it was sewing quarter. It was when we were sewing quarter. So, I'm just telling you this, right? Then they went completely out of stock. Complete went went. When they they came back into stock, the only person that Elna supplied them to was Sewing Street. So that's it. That's it. That uh, Debbie Shaw's got one of these. And she wants to point out that she, apart from that, she loves it. She's got one of these and she's got a 570A. Uh, she paid for it. Like, I, I didn't get given a machine. I've got a 680. I paid for my 680. Debbie Shaw's got one of these. Baffer's got one of these. She paid for it. Rachel from um, Magnolia, she's got one of these. She paid for it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, look at the price. £1,699, but you can have it in split pay. Five payments of £339.80. Now, this is a workhorse, this machine. This is the one that Jane from Elna has got the previous one of these. You know, the one that came before this, where it upgrades this. She's had it for donkey shoes, and she got it secondhand when she got it. It's her go-to machine. Now, it's heavy. You're not going to be wanting to take this... To I say it's heavy. You can lift it up and everything, but it's not one you're going to be wanting to throw in your car and take to classes and things like that. Uh, because the whole base here is solid. This is solid metal all the way around here. As you can see, it's a flat bed. There's no free arm on this one. So you do, I mean, I learned on a, an industrial machine, so I was, I was used to having no free arm. But if you're used to having a free arm normally, this one doesn't have one, but it is brilliant. It is a brilliant machine like that. Now, it's built for making things, not aesthetic beauty, really, because... These are your stitch widths and your stitch length here. They're just you just turn the knobs. All the details come up on here, but it's not a touch screen. You, you kind of press all the buttons and everything like that. Um, you've got all the things that you'd need on this kind of machine. Now, don't be thinking, oh, that's only for big heavyweight, like if Baffer's got one, it's only for PU and big bags. Rachel does, oh well, and Debbie do do um silks and chiffons and cottons and things like that. It sews really, really well on whatever fabric you're using. Now, um, because there's no, uh, it does come with a, with an extension table and it's big. Hannah's got a picture of it for you because we haven't got one here. But um, this, uh, it's got a big extension table. There you go, there you go. There's the picture of it. Lovely big extension table that goes on there. Also, it doesn't have, because you know lots of sewing machines have the flap that come up here with all your different stitches in. Well, this doesn't. What this comes with is this, right? So, this slide, well, it'll slide into your machine here. What happens, I'll just turn it around, actually. This on the back here, when you get your machine, this won't be attached. You just have two little screws in the packet. You just attach that to the back of there. I did that one, so you can be able to do it, right? All your stitches are on here. Now you have three needle plates, right? You have your straight, you have your zigzag, and you have your professional. Your professional one, these are the stitches you can do with your professional. That's where, if, if you're just do quilting, if you're just do piecing, you just want to do straight stitch all the time, I'd put that plate on and have that stitch on all the time um, because it is a brilliant for just doing straight stitch. What it means is it doesn't swallow your fabric down into the hot, into the into the um, machine or anything like that. It's very very precise. Like that. But the machine will only let you do when you change the needle plate. And it's really easy to change the needle plate um, because it will only let you. Um, the machine will only let you do what that needle plate is for. So if you've got your straight stitch in, it won't let you do a zigzag. It won't let you do a decorative stitch or anything like that. Um, it's really really straight. But it's also got your alphabets as well. So there's all your alphabets on there and your numbers. Now, this one goes to a nine millimeter stitch width. So it is a bigger, you can do these to nine millimeters. Any of these down here, you can do to a nine millimeter. It's got three different spacings. If you want to put spacings in, it's got three different spacings. And then it's got all your other alphabets up here. £1,699 will get you this machine. It, oh, and also, uh, this is the other thing it has is on the side here. Oh, which way am I going, man? I'm going into here. There you go. So it has your, your needle down position, obviously, uh, not your needle down, your, your foot down. You lift it up and it goes to there. Now, a lot of them, when you lift it up to the higher one, you have to keep your hand on it. Not on this, you see. So if you're putting through a thick, thick amount of fabric, you could lift the foot up even higher to get your fabric underneath. So I'll show you again. So that's it down. That's the normal one. And then when you lift it to the higher one, you normally have to just hold on to it, but not on this one. It also has things like, this has your, your foot pressure 
is up here. Your tension is here. So it has everything on. Oh, sorry, did you see that? Are you going from the top? I'm on the front. No, no, I'm on the front here. Look. There you go. So you have all, there's your tension. There's your needle pressure up there. Um, then you've got your faster, go slow. You've got all the other things you expect. And then more, so much more. Actually, Jane was on last, what day was Jane in last week? She did, she did, are you now on your own? Okay. I th thought Hannah, I haven't heard from Hannah. And then, and then Emma was just saying, I'll just check what day she was in. I was like, oh. She was in on the 10th. She was in on the 10th. Um, and we did do, we did, she did cover this machine quite a lot. Uh, it, but as I say, it is Jane's go-to machine. And she's got the, she's got the version before this. Do you know what I mean? So she has got the, uh, and she, when, like I say, when she got it, she got her second hand. So she's had hers like 15 years or something. And she said it's her total and utter go-to machine every time. She knows she can rely on it. The Elna Excellent 720, that's £1,699. Five split pay. Now, you don't have to have the split pay if you don't want to. You can, you can just pay for it in one go if you want to do that. I've oh, got technical features here and number of stitches, 200. Number of buttonholes, nine. Uh, typeface is three. I'm just going to come around to read Dax's on a funny angle. Yeah, because Vix always takes the mickey out of me because of this. Maximum number of stitches in pattern combinations, 50. Favourite stitch, you've got your maximum stitch width, 9, which we're talking about. Maximum stitch length, 5. Sewing speed, 1,200. 91 needle positions. Uh, three alphabets, there they are. And then standard accessories uh, st are the foot A, D, uh, the roller hem, uh, rolled hem, the zipper foot, the satin stitch foot, the open toe satin stitch, the blind hem foot, the overlock foot, quarter inch foot, darning foot, convertible free motion quilting foot with three different different heads, automatic, but automatic buttonhole foot with stabiliser, uh, button sewing foot, and then, oh, and then that's what I need to point out as well. When you put your threads on, you do need to lead, lift this up like this. So you've got two spools to put your threads on at the back, and then you want to put it through through here because that helps with the um, the tension of the thread and everything. That folds down when you're not using it, but that she said, Jane also says use that one as well. It has an independent bobbin winder, so you can whilst you're sewing, you could be filling your next bobbin. I know. It's got so much. It's got so much going on for it. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely machine. Oh, and all of your feet, because there's nowhere on it. To, there's no gubbins box or anything to open up. All of your feet come in this lovely box here. You get your three needle plates, like I was saying. You get those two plus the one that's on it. All the feet, you get screwdrivers. All the other stuff is all in here. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. But everything you need comes with, a, well, I told you how many feet it comes with. But I like the fact that this is for your um, feet here because you've always got somewhere to put it back to. You know, or when you throw it in your gubbins box, if you've got a gubbins box, you don't always know where you put it. Whereas this way, you know to put things back into here. I know. So that's a, that's a 720 if you want to have the 720. Right, while I'm here, I've still got machine, oh no, am I doing machine needles? Or am I just saying they're on the website? Okay, the, all of the needles, all of these needles, I'll tell you what I've got, but I won't go through them, are all on the website. I've got top stitch needles, ballpoint needles, jeans needles, universal, sharps, leather, and quilting. They're all on pre-order underneath where we are now. Right, come with me then, because we'll go over here now. Right. Oh, actually, do you know what I should do very quickly before I do this? Let me just show you the uh, Juki. Let me show you the Juki instructions and the PowerPoint. I haven't got one here. Gary took it with him, but it's the newest one that we had. Been so popular, I can't tell you, because look at the price. £1,499. But look, you get £110 worth of feet. Now, you won't, no, no, if you buy it anywhere else, that's how much you'll pay. You'll still pay the £1,499, but they won't, give you the, won't be giving you that £110 worth of feet. There's the machine. And then we've got, uh, here we go. Uh, what day did, did Gary launch this machine? It was with Wendy, wasn't it? 
27th of May. Please go and have a look at Gary, because Gary was here launching it. You get everything in there. Look at all the feet, the standard presser foot, the zipper foot, the overcast foot, the blind stitch, the buttonhole, manual buttonhole, open toe, edge sewing, smooth presser. These are all the ones you get with it. P patchwork presser foot, quilt presser foot, walking, oh, you get walking foot, look. Knee lifting lever, uh, foot controller, wire, wide table and hard case. Yeah. These are the measurements, the dimensions of it. Look at that throat space. Look at the throat space. On so there, you've got eight inch by four and a half inch throat space. Lovely big table on this as well. Come the key features. Oh yeah, you've got the turn dials. You've got the float function if your fabric's a bit thicker. You've got your corner sewing for applique, which is brilliant. You never know when you um, when you get to a corner on applique. You don't want it to. You sometimes get a gap, don't you? Not on this, because like a mitre corner. Then, oh, got something else. Bobbin winder with independent motor, straight stitch slide plate, uh, auto thread trimmer, keeled. Oh, that's on, on your, um, they're old fashioned shoes, aren't they? On your um, foot pedal, it, you can set it so that you click backwards and it will cut your thread. Foot control, heel down function. Yeah, that's, uh, that's brilliant. That's it, that's it, that's it. So there's lots and lots and lots to do. But please go and watch. I'm going in about 15 minutes. You can go and watch it then. Please go and watch. What day did you say it was, sorry? Twenty seventh of May. Twenty seventh of May. Go on YouTube. Have a look on Twenty. It was the last two hours of the show. It was when I think he did this and he did an overlocker. So go and watch Gary because you know Gary he knows absolutely everything there is to know about. They sold out on the day. They all sold out. Uh, uh, Emma's very very impressed with Gary. She finds that sort of um, passion for something quite um, thrilling. Anyway, let's get on. Let's go. We've only got fifteen minutes. Uh, what should, where should I go to first? Right, I've got some quilt kits in a box here. Don't send any messages on Facebook because I haven't brought my Facebook Live thing with me. Right. Oh, they're on the bottom of the pile, okay. Here we go. Shine On by Bonnie, Bonnie and Camille. Now this is lovely because look, you've got your, uh, your flying geese, you've got your 16 patch, you've got your friendship star, You've got your heart applique and you've got your windmill. And then they're all in that kind of churn dash um, uh, thing. It's 72 inch square. I'm not going to get all the fabrics out, but they're beautiful, the fabrics. So there's enough fabric in here to make the top and to make the binding. You have to buy your own backing and your own wadding. Uh, here's a picture of the actual finished quilt. Oh, cracky, there's so much fabric in there. Lots and lots of fabric in there. Okay, now, there are two of these left. That's it. It's not being reordered. If you've been thinking, oh, I'd really like that. Oh, look. I didn't really split pay. 53, 33, three times. No interest charge whatsoever. There's two left. I'm being totally honest with you. You know me. I'll tell you anything I'm, everything I'm supposed, not supposed to. Two left. Two left, right? We won't be ordering it again. Moda, Shine On by Bonnie and Camille. Beautiful fabrics. 159.99, 53, 33, uh, three payments of if you want that interest free. The finished size is 72 inches square. It's lovely, isn't it? The different f f um, fabrics in there, like the floral frames and everything, and then that lovely border, and then you're binding in the z in the diagonal stripe. Beautiful. Then, this one here, uh, Eleanor's Endeavour. Now, we, we did this, um, right, I need to explain something to you about this one. This is the 64 by 64 inch size one. Sally Ann did a demonstration of, on the 11th of, God, it's ages ago, 11th of April, I was on with her. She did this central, this central block here. Now, what it is, is you don't make one, two, three, four, five blocks. What you do is the edges of, I'll show you, but the edges of one block make up the other block. I'll show you in here, right? Oh, hang on. How many of these have I got? 
Okay, again, I've only got two. I won't open the fabrics, but this is more traditional fabrics in here, aren't they? The lovely colours in there. Really beautiful and traditional. But I'm going to show you in here. There we go. I can show you on this without opening up anything. So, this is your centre This is your centre block here, which is an applique and pieced block there, right? Then what you do is you make your round two, they go all the way round, but as you can see, the squares from the round two make the lines in between, that's your round two there. So the squares on that one, the squares from that one, then create these blue ones here. You don't make that block because they're just the corners of, the, of those blocks. Then you make round three, which is this one here, and the edges of that block and the edges of that block create that block in the middle there. So you're not make, physically making that block or that block. They're just created by the way that these are all, all made already. So you make that block round three to go all the way around the outside, but those together make that extra square in there. It's very, very clever. But what you also need to know is the actual uh, design comes in three size options, 64, 77, and 94 inch square. The fabric in here will make you the 64 inch square. You can't make the 77 or the 94 from this kit. However, if you then make the 64 and you think, oh, I love this, this will look lovely on my double bed. If you open it out, um, it tells you how much fabric you need for, oh, look, here you go. So it needs, the one, this one in here is a nine and a half inch block. The middle size is a 12 and a quarter inch block. And the large one is a 14 inch block, which means all of your bits need to be bigger. So if you're in your applique, look, this one here is for the small quilt. That one there is for the medium size, and that one there is for the big size. Again, the other applique in block two, you've got the different sizes. It tells you all, look, so what you have to cut out for all the different sizes, so it, just for example, the one you've got here, fabric one, you make 32 two and a half by three and a half rectangles and 132 one and a half inch squares, 18 one and seven eighths inch squares cut in half. But if you want to make the bed size one, it tells you exactly how many you have to cut and what size they are. It also will tell you how much fabric you need to buy if you want to make the bigger ones after at a later date. But you've got all the patterns and the instructions there. You don't need to worry about that, but you do need to know that this block here just makes the 64 by 64 inch square one. There. Oh, scratching. Right. And then my third quilt kit, I just put that in there. That's in a box, yeah, that's in a box. Now this one, the fabric was designed by Tudor Pink's tattoo artist. And um, lovely, if you love cats and their endeavours, then you're going to love this one. Right, from the outside, if you look at this, you're not going to think, oh, that's all about cat, it's called cattails, but you're not going to think, oh, it's got cat fabric in there. You do get seven fabrics, over seven metres of fabric, made with love in the Netherlands. Oh, now, can I get this one? Oh, there you go. I won't open it. You can get that. You can see there. It's lovely, isn't it? It's not difficult to do. Uh, 109.99 is your price, uh, but you can have it in two split payments of 54.99. Uh, have we got the finished size? I haven't got the finished size on here. Is it on the graphics? Hang on. Oh yeah, 160 by 183 inches. Lovely, isn't the borders beautiful? The border fabric's absolutely beautiful. And then the one going around the inner border there, that's one with cats climbing in and out of trees. But you also have the same two of the fabrics. There's one that's coloured in, and then one's just the line draw. Oh, there you go. That's the line drawing of it there. And then one of the other fabrics is all of it coloured uh, coloured in. And then that's your green fabric there. You see your green border there. That's this fabric with the knitting balls and things. How many of these have we got? We've got a few more of these. I do have got a few more of these if you want that. There's no rush on that one. Beautiful. Right, now I've got another quilt kit here that we put together. Now, that Wendy Orlando did this. She didn't design it. She made, she did, did the um, demonstration for it. 27th of February. My word. So here it is. There's the finished quilt. I think that was one we printed up from a, a, a still, wasn't it? So it's called the uh, Bow Bower by Sherry and Chelsea. 
Uh, that's a, right, so it's made with fat quarters and fat eighths, right? You get all of these fat eighths. Yeah, yeah, they're all fat eighths. And you won't use all of those. You won't use all of those. So they are fat eighths. Then you get nine fat quarters, I seem to remember. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fat quarters. Eight fat quarters, yep. And then you also get, this is your binding, and this is your background. Now, this isn't plain cream. That's actually got, if you look close, or oh, you're not meant to see it from there. You get five and a half metres of that. Can you just see? That's official motor fabric in there uh, from their collection, but it's 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 got um, a colour on you know self coloured on it, self embossed on it. There's your binding, there's your fabrics, and there's your fat eights. You need and these are your fat quarters, and there your fat eights, and then you get your instructions, and the finished size is eighty one and a half by eighty one and a half inches. Split pay, split pay. You get three split payments of $65.99, which gives you a total of $197.99. It's a huge quilt. Um, and it's Moda. It is Moda fabric, so you know the quality is going to be good. And it's uh, three split pays of $65.99. Don't charge, get charged any interest whatsoever. Okay. Oh, from Delphine. Right, okay. Right, we've got the pictures of these, haven't we? I've got Thistle Cottage. No. Okay. <laughs> you and me. Right, here's the still of the finished thing. What day did Delphine do them? Sixth of June, these were done. So here's the instructions. You all will obviously need your needle felting kit, which I've got coming up very quickly. Needle felt and hand embroidery kit by Delphine Brooks. So in this one, you get your background felt. Then you get your wools. And then how many skeins should I get in this one? Right, okay. Dark green, lilac. Light green. White brown and yellow so that green must be with that one then okay so that's the that will make you your sheep's picture there that's done on the same angle as a picture i took for hannah yesterday there was a friend of ours on the telly yesterday and i sent her a picture okay and then the other one is this one here which is called your thistle cottage and this one, you get your background felt, you get your wools, then you get one, two, three, four, five, six threads in this one, six, six skeins in this one. I'll just say six skeins in this one. Yeah, Hannah said, yeah, right. We need to just check those when we pack away later. No, 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 but there's two, there were three greens that could all be dark green. So we just need to check. Oh, so I've got, I've got the mud luck. This is a dark green, that one. Right, okay. Right, okay. So we've got it the right way around. There you go. Okay, now you will, to make that, you will need this. You might already have this, of course, if you've been following Delphine. This is a little, have uh, we done it as a kit? Yep. So you get the foam felting block, which you use over and over again to felt it, to fill felt, because what you do is you just put the wool on top of the felt and then you do this. You get the seven needle one, one felting tool, you get the three needle felting tool, and you get the single uh, needle felt felting tool. 19 pounds and 96 pence. 19 pounds and 96 pence will get you that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, these aren't Delphines. These are your beehive needle felting kits for beginners. Okay, you do get a needle in there with the barb. Please be careful. Age is 10 plus. Easy peasy, one sheep. So is it a 3D thing, that one? Yep, 3D. Yep, 3D. Okay, so that's your beehive. Very, very quickly. 
We also have the hedgehog. I have to make that and put it in my little hedgehog house, won't I? Make a happy little hoglet using genuine stife pickled, prickled, no <laughs> fabric. How much is it? 15.99. £15.99. £15 Righty-ho, let's see tomorrow's menu. Eight o'clock, we've got Native Lighting with Claire Donnelly. 8.30, we've got Work Crew Tools. Now, that might go a little bit awry because they will have two early birds and the panel of the week to do. They're, oh, there are new cats. I said Catherine Wright's in tomorrow and everyone went, no. Summer Top with Catherine Wright tomorrow. Then we've got Dressmaker. Oh, no, we. Oh, it's not me. I say we. It's not me. I'm not in tomorrow. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got Catherine Wright's Roundup. That's all the Catherine Wright kits that we've got in stock. And then at 12 o'clock, uh, Denny Gould is here with Eye Knit Designs. They're always gorgeous. She's doing her sheep cushions tomorrow. Um, so uh, I'm off tomorrow. I can't believe it. But I am back in on Saturday uh, and it's my birthday weekend. So there will be uh, badges for everybody. There'll be prizes. There'll be all sorts of things. And there'll be more of my threads for sale over the weekend. So um, have a lovely day tomorrow. Watch Vix. Vix will be here to um, entertain and educate you. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm like already on my way home. And uh, I'll see you on Saturday morning. Take care.